Hello, welcome to Board Games with Niramas. I'm Joseph, and there goes my phone for some reason. I'm here with Draco, and we're streaming again. We're streaming. It's Wednesday, and we are streaming. We didn't plan to really, but I said I was going to be back on Thursday. But I am so, I'm so eager to get back into Gloomhaven. I want to stream more. I want to play more. So, since I have my own rule, I have to stream if I want to play. I cannot play off cam unless there's some kind of grindy stuff. I might do that off cam. But if I want to progress in the story in the campaign, then I have to do it on camera. That's my um, I kind of promise. You know, that's my kind of rule I made for myself. It's also good because it makes it so that I'm I look forward to the next time I get to play. If I were just playing off cam, I would just binge the whole thing probably, and that would be fun. But it wouldn't be as fun as this like forced uh, wait that I have to do. I'm a bit early as well, so we'll see if people show up here now. I don't know, I just didn't want to sit around and wait. I, I think get started instead. <laughs> okay, so in the... Um, where we are right now is that we found... We found this... We're gonna go to this frozen hollow to seek out the Aster, I don't know how to pronounce that. Aster, maybe? Aster Enchanter. So we're gonna go look for an enchanter. Ah, hey, slow mo. Happy Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> I can't stay away from this game. Because we were at this, like. I don't know how to explain, say it. We were at this weird portal. And then we could either go into the portal here. To the plane of elemental power, or we can go look for a enchanter to try to close the portal. I think that's the the branching storyline here, right? Also, yesterday in the last stream, what we did was we started started here fiddly, which is totally misspelled. I realized I was I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, so fiddly, the tinkerer, is in the party now. I want to try at least to play three-handed. I might go feel like, oh no, I'll rather go back to playing two-handed. But I played three-handed most of my Gloomhaven game time, you know, back in the board game and so on. So I think I will have, be happy with that. And I also kind of felt like, I mean, I love our Brute and the Mind Thief, but I kind of felt like sometimes I miss a support character. They, uh, they are sort of... They do a lot of damage and all that, and they have really cool decks by now, and cool modifying decks and everything. But sometimes I feel it would be good to have a support character. Now, if you add a third character, that's also going to add more enemies. And I think even some of the enemies might become elite that would normally be normal on the dungeon. So, yeah, at least that's when you set up the body, and that's how it works. So you add more stuff, and you, you, get, you make them harder, right? Um, yeah, so... So we're gonna see how that goes. We're gonna have a third character and we are very close. Like anytime we want, we can just retire the brute because the life goal here is to kill. Again, I'm, I'm, I've been complaining so much about this. It doesn't say what we have killed, but I know from memory that what we need to do is kill one more spitting drake and the brute will retire. For the mine thief, we just need to donate some more gold, but I'm, I don't wanna hurry with that. I think we're gonna keep the mine thief for a good while, even though, um, even if we get close to this, I, mean, I, I think I want to keep it. It's such a good damage dealer, so I want to keep it. And we're fiddly here. We're going to kill 20 bandits or cultists, which shouldn't be a big problem. Like they, The thing is that the tinkerer needs to get the killing blow to, for it to count, right? So um, we could do that fairly quick if we wanted to. We could go to like here to the Black Barrow and so on and set that up. But I, yeah, I, I don't see any point in that. Now, the class we would unlock here is the... I think that's the sun, whatever class, which I have played, and it's cool, so I do want to get there sometime, but not right now. Okay, um, no city encounter to do. We, we could go to the temple, or did we already do that? I think we did, right, so they already have... Why can't... Oh, they are already blessed. Yeah, okay, okay. We already did that. Yesterday, obviously. Uh, okay, so now let's head over here and find the enchanter. It's gonna be a frost demon, hound, and living spirit. Okay, pretty annoying. 
And uh, we start off with an enchanter yeah. has been called for, so an enchanter must be found. Following reports of an ace there in the boiler district, you find yourself standing before an abandoned and decrepit tavern, the Crooked Bone. Opening the door, the inside looks exactly as the outside advertised. Spider webs, splintered stools, and dusty, broken glass. Stepping past the threshold, a translucent female suddenly appears before you. Why have you come to this place, mercenaries? Your presence is unwanted, and you're disrupting my research. Okay. You quickly explain why you have come, and the woman's frown deepens. Oh, look at the Aesta woman. She can fulfill all our wishes. All she has to do is wave her hands, and our wildest dreams will come true. She sighs in frustration, and actually does wave her hands. Leave me in peace. It's kind of weird because I thought we were gonna go look for her, but she was in Gloomhaven. That's how it is sometimes with these, like when you look at a quest. Yeah. So anyway. You don't move. She stares. Well, instead of disrupting, then maybe you could help. Scratch my back, maybe I'll scratch yours. That's how these things work, right? The woman turns and walks towards a destroyed set of stairs, but after a few steps, she fades away entirely. I need an orb from the frozen hollow in the Copperneck Mountains. The woman's voice comes from directly in front of you, as if she hadn't moved at all. Bring it back to me, and I may help you. A map drops at your feet. My name is Hale, by the way. Do not come back without the orb. Okay, so now we're going to do her a favor. That's, that's the thing. Walking a path between a small grove and a steep cliff, you suddenly find yourself facing a massive group of felled trees blocking the road. The placement of the trees seems odd, and you have a wary, suspicious feeling about the whole situation. Yeah, we're probably getting ambushed here. So we can clear the trees off the road, it's best way through, and will help other travelers, or we can take the time to find a way around the trees. Let's take the time to find a way around the trees. Ah, oh, we head into the underbush of the grove to get around to fell trees, but it's rough going. The growth is very dense and there are quite a few prickly thorns to contend with, so we will start each scenario with two damage, okay? It's not great. I mean, it's not that bad these days since now they have so much health, at least the two main guys, right? The map so. is easy to follow. Deep in the Copperneck Mountains, obscured by snowdrifts, you find the opening to a dark, narrow cave. The wolf tracks around the entrance are troubling, but with a firm resolve you enter. Okay, so battle goes, and now we have three characters. It's going to be very interesting. So, for the brute, reveal a room tile by opening a door. Kill an undamaged monster with a single attack. I think opening a door is easier to do. I just need to remember that the brute should do it. For the mind thief, kill five or more enemies. That's doable, I think. Or have five or more total cards in your hand and discard at the end of the scenario. That sounds less likely, I would say. Depending on how long it is and so on, I don't know, but we'll go for kill five or more, yeah. And for the tinkerer here, it's cause a trap to be sprung or disarmed on your turn. Or on the turn of one of your summons during the scenario. and Or gain a 13 or more experience points. I don't remember, Does, doesn't the tinkerer have some way to disarm traps? Uh, I mean, they can create traps. Or am I thinking about the other character, the roguelike one? I, I know she can disarm. Yeah, I probably, yeah, yeah, okay. So in that case... I don't want to walk into a trap with this one. It's going to have low health. So let's get this one. Hopefully we can get a bunch of XP then. I don't know. It would be really good to get a bunch of XP and sort of catch up with the Tinkerer. In some way. I think that's so cool in this game, by the way. That you get XP 
Like you get it from like, completing scenarios and so on, but you also like you you control like you get XP from using certain skills. It's not like you never get XP from killing a monster, which is uh, kind of you know strange compared to most RPGs. But it's it's really cool. That's why Gloomhaven sticks out so much. There's so many interesting things there that are are innovative. Um. Okay, so there's a door there. We have to kill everything. Uh, scenario effect. We all start with three extra minus one attack modifiers. That is annoying. Now it doesn't go for the mind thief because mind thief has immunity to the scenario effects. But like the brute here is going to have a three extra minus ones, so that makes it a little bit harder. And it's fairly long. Go through in here. Yeah, so we gotta be sort of careful, I think, with um, with burning cards. Because this might take a little while. It's interesting that we have three characters. It's going to change dynamic a lot. So we'll see how that's going to turn out. Okay, so how do we start here? We start with... I think we're going to have Tinkerer in the back. So let's start with the Brute up here. And again, like tw 2 damage on the Brute from 22 doesn't really matter that much. But on the Tinkerer it's... <laughs> You know, it's, it's worse. So, a lot of these, the annoying thing here is they have retaliate to two elites, right? I'm thinking we could do retaliate on the brute. Now, these guys often go early, that's the thing as well. The dogs, that is. Um, We can we can go at eighteen and see if if that might work. Okay, so this is a bit like wow, new character. Um, let's see what they can do. You can create the six damage trap in an adjacent empty hex. That's really cool. Like that. Um, yeah, way to stun range. That's good. I'm probably gonna miss some stuff in here that I'm gonna take a little while to get used to this character, right? And poison ranged. Do we have any good. Oh, well, the heal is actually. Okay, so let's do that. Let's heal and poison ranged. Yeah. And. Mind Thief. This is a pretty good. Do we have any kind of. I mean, this is not bad. Range attack too, because they can't retaliate if we range attack them, right? So. so that's pretty good. And then we want this maybe on the bottom. So we can do two arranged attacks here. We just go all ranged on these um, hounds. And yeah, they're going to do like attack and then move and then attack again. So not being next to them here when it's their turn is a good idea. Because I mean, we could put the brute next to them, and then he will retaliate twice to each hound. But he will also take a lot of damage. That's the thing. So if you want to do that, then we should have had some kind of, like the one where he doesn't take damage for the next three attacks or something like that, right? Uh, so we're gonna attack, then move and attack again. I think we'll move up here. And I guess go for the elites first, obviously. Rolling modifier, okay. Could put the skeleton out there as a block. Model is good. Ah, I actually killed it, okay. Oh, doubler! <laughs> Alright, so yeah, let's get the skeleton in there. Why not? So the the hound still has to move to get to it, so and let's move to here. Heal the mind thief. I like having a healer on the team. That's gonna help out a lot. And we can poison Oh, that's bad. We can only reach this guy. I'd rather poison. Okay, I'd rather poison one of the other ones. But oh, it actually killed it. Okay. 
All right. So then we don't have that many. We don't have that many enemies as I thought we would have here. So you know what? Let's do this. Let's go. No. Right now they will attack Skeleton, which is fine, I guess. But he's not gonna take more than one attack, probably. So the other one will hit the Mind Thief. Hmm. This... Hmm, this <laughs> gotta be trickier than I... Okay, let's do it like I planned to start here. Just do a ranged attack. And then... I was planning to put on retaliate, but they're not gonna go for the brute anyway. So that doesn't matter. I don't know how I thought about that. Why? Yeah. So this. Oh, the skeleton survived. I like that. They took two hits. Hmm. But living spirit is gonna be annoying as usual because they have all that armor of oh, six damages. A lot of damage as well. Huh. Mind Thief first here. I think he maybe jump over here and hit these guys. Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's do that and let's get the mind's weakness into play as well. And for the Tinker, I'm kind of winging it here with the Tinker because I don't really have a super uh, knowledge of what is best to do with it. So... I think we'll just have it do that and heal the Mind Thief. And Brute... We do something if we do juggernaut could be something else on the bottom that would be good. Mm, I think I'd rather do this one here to move at an attack and then attack with five. Have a strong single target attack this round. Oh the hound is gonna immobilize. And it's gonna go first. Wow, that is annoying. Oh it's gonna hit the skeleton. <laughs> so one one of the attacks was eaten. Okay. But sadly, the yeah, the mind thief is immobilized now. That's not good. We're gonna burn some card here because we want to get a bunch of XP with the uh, tinkerer. So we're gonna do whatever is needed to uh, get XP, and we can pick up some card here with the stamina potion. And maybe move over there. Okay, so we can't move. So in that case, let's do three attacks instead. I would like to get the Mind's Weakness going, but this is a situation where I should do the Poison first, actually. And Muddle there, so... Oh, and Doubler, okay. Yeah, so the Retaliation, but they only retaliate for one, at least. These, these smaller, the normal Hounds. Wow. Those rolling mo modifiers are so insane. Just <laughs> like constant model and so good. And let's actually heal as well here. Get full health. And we can't do any movement, so that's it. Because now comes the this guy here. So, oh, he's gonna curse. Okay. So he's not attacking, but he is cursing all enemies within range. So that's next. Okay, so Tinkerer got cursed and Mind Thief got cursed, right? Yeah. What's this range, though? 
Did everyone get cursed? Uh, oh, maybe it was that he had like three range. I'm not sure. I didn't see adjacent, so maybe it was like everyone that he can reach. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna hit the. We are going to hit this uh, living spirit with six attack then. Let's go plus one from this. This could be enough. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And then... Juggernaut maybe? Now we can do Juggernaut and Hook and Chain. You move in a straight line and so on. Um, here, let's attack a bit. Okay, range done, that's good. Okay, we can do double attacks, that's cool. And Mindthief needs to do something about this elite. Maybe an attack with strength then, and then attack three with stun. That's that's a good idea. I'll go with that and see see how it turns out. So you start with the strength. It's probably gonna not gonna do. Yeah, even missed. It's a good time to miss though when you're just gonna. He was gonna miss anyway basically because he was doing one one damage. They have three shields or whatever. Uh, but now three attack and stun. And uh, that's poison as well, why not? So we got the rolling stun modifier, so that was double stun, but no damage though. It's really hard to we need like we need more pierce cards really, I think. Attack five could be good though. Let's try this. Oh plus one. Oh there we go. Trinker is killing people. <laughs> nice. Gonna get retaliated here, but only one, so. Yeah, Tinker has been getting good um, good attacks so far. We get hit now, though, for two. And. Still ranged attack here, so we don't get retaliated. It's always good. It's a miss. Ah. We don't want to pull it because then it will be in the way. It's better he just walks up here. I'm thinking it's interesting as well, like with the item that we have with the brute, the doomed compass, forcing someone to move two spaces. So the tinkerer could play the proximity mine, put a six damage trap, and then the brute can just make someone go into it. That is an interesting combo. It's a one time use, of course, with the Card, but mm. that's a cool ability there. With the uh, one adjacent ally may recover all their discarded cards. So at the right time here, that could be really useful. You gotta be adjacent though, but I'm gonna keep that muddle all adjacent enemies. That's also pretty cool and stun there on the top. The decoy. The decoy cannot fight, it just walks around. I think we need. I think. Ish, I think healing is in place here. You don't want to lose the um, Tinkerer. Good attack stun there. Move attack. I think we're sort of moving on, right? There we have, there we have a, th you know, we have the trample there, attack three, pierce two. That's good against the, against the annoying uh, armored spirit or living spirits. Let's start with this attack here. See where we go. Yeah, there we go. That's nice. Mind thief got that. So then let's pick up some gold. 
My thief needs to kill three more enemies though. And Brute needs to open a door, so let's make sure that the Brute gets to do that right away. We don't know, there's probably more doors, but I don't wanna... It's so good when you get the battle goods done, then you can just forget about it for that. Uh, let's not do two heals, let's do one heal here and move. So Tinkerer doesn't get too far behind. Let's see, do they have any loot cards? They're in a good spot for a loot one. No, no loot cards at all. Okay, usually I don't really care for loot cards, but if you happen to be in between a bunch of gold... Then... Okay, so Brute first. Brute needs to go and open... Open that door. So maybe move there and then have an attack. Yeah, that's okay. Flamethrower is really cool as well. You can attack multiple enemies. I like having some AoE. I don't really have that much AoE with the other two characters, so... I mean, it's basically the trample and the new card here with the ranged AoE on the Mind Thief, but... And that immobilizes a bunch of people as well. So maybe a move four is good here. And maybe a range stun? Two targets, wow. That is so good. So good, okay, Mind Thief. Yeah, move five and then be able to shoot two targets, range four, attack three, that's a good combo there as well. Well, however, the brute is gonna go last. Okay, that was kind of stupid of me. Oh yeah, uh, kind of stupid of me to <laughs> because I want the brute to open the door. So now everyone, in well, everyone can just move up and get ready. Then that's fine. Maybe we could get that thing going where you can have an adjacent friendly get back all their discarded cards. Let's see if that could work. Um. Oh, look at this. So now I'm pretty sure, like, there's four, five enemies in here. If we were two players, there would probably be, like, three or something. Like, they, it adds, depending on the... It scales the number of uh, uh, mercenaries that we have. So they're gonna shield and move. Oh, look at this, the Frost Demon. In this case, they will take damage if there's fire in the room and the Tinkerer can put fire in the room. Hmm. Living Spirit will move attack range with stun since there's frost. Unless we go first and use up the frost. That could be a thing. Oh, no, no, they're gonna go right now. Yeah, yeah they're gonna act right now, so. Uh, okay. Not much we can do then. Kind of weird card they got, like they shield and then they just move. <laughs> they don't attack anything. But in a way it's good that they all get closer here. We can do some trample here I think. So on. Why didn't he move? This guy didn't move. I don't know. Um. So yeah, I was thinking if, but we're not adjacent now. If we were adjacent now, we could have short. No, it wouldn't work. We need to time it so that we do the, what's it called? This one, reinvigorating elixir. We need to time it so that you're adjacent. You do this next to an ally who has a bunch of discarded cards. But that's not possible now since these guys need to rest. Or I guess they could. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they need to rest, otherwise it doesn't work. So, short rest, okay, we, we skip the mind's weakness then. And Brute's gonna short rest, okay, that's fine. So Brute, one, two, three, four, five, six, hmm, it's not a good trample thing. But we could, of course, move one more in here. 
Uh, we could set up a whirlwind. Oh, this would be fun. I've never done this. Well, I haven't done this so far in the playthrough. Whirlwind trample. That combination. That's gonna be interesting. Here we could do like a net shooter immobilize. Oh, I kind of okay. Let's see how. Oh, it has to be adjacent. It would be nice if they could. If the tinkerer could throw the the proximity mine. We could get it in here. That would have been nice. But maybe flamethrower could work. If how would that be? No, it wouldn't be the right orientation. It's always tricky with those. Uh, this is good though because this is more like this range 3 and you can like spin that around or whatever I think we'll do those two but we go late there here maybe oh yeah we can use up the no there's no frost in the air now they already used it up I guess otherwise we could have moved with a shield like jump in here but I think we'll just do range attack there then, and range attack. Yeah, that's fine. Just do some range attacks here. So they're gonna move and attack. Frost Demon are going to do this um, strong, well, like area of effect attack. Let's stun that guy. Let's hit both of them. Plus one and stun. Okay, <laughs> they're both stunned. Uh, OP mind thief. Okay, so now let's do this. Uh, this is gonna be fun. So we're gonna force this one to come here, join us. Then it's trample time. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we need the boots. So one, two, three, four, five. And wait, they all have retaliate three. Oh, that's nasty. I didn't think about that retaliation. I think it's fine though. We have 20 health with the brute, and I want to do this move because it's cool. So let's do it. Uh, those two are already stunned, so I'm not going to use the hammer. Let's just use the power potion to add a plus one attack to the whole uh, trample. Oh, double on one. Okay, so here comes all the uh, retaliation damage. And now you would think it's a bad idea to... Let's use the potion. To do it again, since they might retaliate, but hopefully two of them will die, actually. So here goes Whirlwind. It's the first time we use Whirlwind in this playthrough as well. So there we go. Spin it. Yeah, kill two of them. There's only one retaliation. Good job, Brute. That's a cool combo right there. Now, we need to kill more with the Mind Thief for the battle goal though. So I think the Brute needs to calm down now. We need to have the, the Mind Thief kill the rest of them in here really. And let's move up here, get some gold. I am very like, oh yeah, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just doing stuff now with the, with the tinkerer because I don't really gotten into any any rhythm yet with it. So I like all the ranged heals, ranged attacks, and and some support and all that. I never play. I never played a tinkerer in the board game. I played it in the adventure mode here uh, before this was released. Okay, so now we have. Let's look. What could, could the mind thief get in here? Kill something. You need to kill two more things. Come on. Do it, mind thief. You have your OP stuff. Actually, yeah. Okay. You know what we're gonna do. Um, short rest. Decoy. 
decoy doesn't sound that good. It's, it's almost like the skeleton, right? You just put it out to just so they hit that instead of you. Which isn't bad, but... Stun, some flamethrower. Kind of would do things that give XP. So I want to catch up on XP, right? So those, yeah, both those, those two things give XP. And brute... Do a bunch of attacks, I guess. Oh, that one. Okay. Yeah, so now it's time to use the super OP Mind Thief coming in here with attack there, ranged attack, plus two. Okay, so killing that one. So we're up to four out of five. And this is five out of five, plus we get to attack the one next to it. And stun. And times two. <laughs> I told you my thief is OP. He just went into the room and killed three people by himself. No problem. And then all of a sudden the other guys have nothing to do. Well, they can pick up gold. Or actually let's have the brute move further on here. This scenario seems way easier than I thought it would be. Mm, skip attack, keep moving. Maybe there's something nasty in the next room, I guess, but... Mm, let's do that, so the Mind Thief can recover the discarded cars, mostly for the XP, right? Can we use this on the ground? No. I wanted to use it just to get the two, two XP there, but I can skip attack. Can we move in a straight line and get in the door? Yeah, we can. Okay. We can chain them. And mine thief. Mine thief is down with his battle goals. So is the brute. We need a bit more XP there for Tinkerer. I like it when not every scenario is like super hard and we just like make it with just like the last round. Because I like some time to pick up gold, um, focus on getting XP, learning, you know, getting familiar with a new character, all that stuff. So, that would be fun to get the trap in there. Let's see if we can move, move up and do that before the end of the uh, scenario. This is pretty cool as well here with uh, the Mindthief's new card. You can move five, shield yourself because there's frost in there, right? And again, I mean, that actually gives an XP. Now, I don't really, really rush the XP, I guess, on the on the Mind Thief because he is in the lead anyway on, on level, so. It's so, it's so good as well in this game that you can play like characters of different level and it still works like you don't That is a very good design Okay, let's open the door Okay, there's some stuff in here. So let's tab so obstacles traps. Okay stun traps. There's a chest up there and Frost Demon Elite, which is nasty there for 14 health. Pounds, normal living spirits, that's good. No elite living spirit at least. And I guess that's the sort of altar we are going for. Well, well the mission is just to kill everything, so. It's kind of annoying though, because nobody's next. Even if we go one more step here, we went four in a straight line. It's not enough, we don't have anyone to hit. And uh, they're gonna move to attack three. So we are gonna move back instead then. Since you can't get that attack in anyway. Uh, we'll just move back here a little bit. Let some of them come out, out of the room because they're gonna get clogged up in the doorway, so. They walk so funny, the the frost demons. <laughs> they don't it's not scary at all. It's like it's not a scary scary walk. It's just a silly walk. 
Let's heal the brute here as well. I love having a ranged healer around. Maybe we should have played from the start with these three characters, actually. I, I felt good to just do two at the start. Because I'm you know, streaming and... It's been a while. It's been like a year since I played the game, right? So At that point, when I, you know, last week or whatever it was when I started. Okay. Hmm. What are we aiming for here then? I guess we'll just, you know, move, move, move and, and strike like the. And it would, it would be cool to get the trap in here. We move four. We can get a trap here so that they have to walk into it to get to us. That would be cool. And they have it has retaliate three, right? Yeah. So I'm a little bit hesitant to to attack it up close too much, right? So maybe do one attack up close and then one moved away. So so a little bit of a mix there. So attack here. Oh, it's a miss as well. Okay. Let's use the potion. And then move. Wait, we can't move too far away. We need to be one to yeah. We need to be in really in range as well, right? Uh, to shoot it, it's gonna move three, attack four. Oh wow! Okay, it's gonna attack two next to each other. We should have checked that first. So we don't want to stand like this, but it's fine because the brute is gonna act before the frost demon, so he, we can set that up. And actually, before that happens, we can make sure we're going to do this. Keep put this trap there, because then it can't go into such a spot that it will attack both of us. Or maybe the hounds will trigger the trap before that, actually. We'll see. Oh, the or oh, there, yeah, there we go. The armor worked, so it it uh, gave the first hound disadvantage, so that it couldn't get a doubler on the tinkerer, which was good. And now it's stuck here anyway. Now this guy can't get to us anyway because there's so much stuff in the way, uh, which is actually good, I guess. We could jump in there and attack, but I don't know. That's not smart, right? As an attack of four, these are not gonna attack three, range two. Yeah, so none of them are gonna reach us no matter what we do here. So it's an attack of four that come is coming up if the brute goes in there. But he can get to do an attack of five himself. And you know, we're not gonna We're gonna jump in there. He has fourteen health. So, oh no, he's not gonna attack this guy though, because that will be too much retaliate. Retaliate three. Let's attack this dog here. Oh, he could actually stun. Okay, let's do that. Let's stun this guy then. But then we never get that. We get the retaliate, but we never get the actual attack. So that's fine. Let's short rest. That's okay. It's really crowded here. I wish I had more of these AoE attacks in here now. I think we'll do that. So this one and Leaping Cleave for some smashy smashy. We'll just uh, take these two there. I'm not really sure what they are. Um, stun is good and bunch of it. Attacks. No, we don't want to do a bunch of attacks on these because they have they have that annoying uh, retaliate. So then we don't want to do like a lot of small attacks. 
Uh, we're gonna stun this wolf. I don't feel like these are wolves, like it says so in like the narrative, uh, because it fits the whole. But we're actually, you know, it's actually like more like wild dogs or something. And let's attack this big guy here, see if we can get rid of it. Nice. So good to get rid of it with a ranged attack there, so we don't have to worry about that Retali 3, which is so rough. And that's 3 damage. Okay, so Brute... What are these gonna do? They're gonna curse. Okay, so they're not gonna attack. We want the treasure chest as well, right? So if we do... Yeah, let, let's attack these first. Hopefully kill at least one. No, that wasn't good. Now he's gonna take two times one retaliation, which is not too bad, I guess. It's gonna be worse, but... Let's take one of these. Oh, disarm. The rolling disarm. Now it, was, it wasn't gonna attack anyway because it's gonna curse, but it, I like to see that rolling disarm. Almost forgot that we put it in the, the deck. And it's like super curse on the brute now. <laughs> I wonder how many we can see it here, right? The brute has four, it looks like four or five. Four or five curse cards now. So that trap was fun. Um, you and all adjacent allies add one attack to all your attacks this round. That should have been nice to use early, right? It's a it's a late card though, so you gotta combine that with like the early card in order to get that working. Or or have the your allies go even later, I guess. So So now it's not gonna it's just gonna go for this guy here, but let's attack two of these and stun them. One next round. I got some XP as well. Let's see how much XP are we up to? 11 out of 13. Two more XP. That should be possible, right? I would like to get some perks really, you know, as quick as possible here with the new character. The ink bomb looks like a good one. Let's redraw. Because that looks like a good one here since they're clogged up like this. So I want to do that right away. That's one XP for each enemy targeted. And we can probably get two in here. So that would be the next two XP that we need. And I'm not going to overthink this, because it's basically a matter of just smashing stuff. Oh, kill an adjacent normal enemy with stun. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he can kill the living spirit if it's still stunned. So he needs to go early to so make sure that it's still stunned. And it doesn't even burn the car, right? And I don't think we used that before, so it's fun to get that going. Now oh, it's going 48, so yeah, that would have been fine anyway. Okay, so let's do this here. And can actually hit three, right? Yeah, it hits all three. For attack four, that's good as well. I mean, it burns the card, but attack of four or three enemies ranged. Love it. Ink bomb. Oh, wow, it just killed two. I Tinker is good. Yeah, I mean, I, again, I, I haven't played it in a long while. I didn't remember it being this good this early. It's only level two and it's doing this kind of damage. I think it's even doing more damage like than the Brute is doing at level 2. The Tinker is supposed to be a support. But that, that's also cool in Gloomhaven that it's not that classic generic like RPG where you're either a tank or a healer or a damage dealer. Here you can, it's mixed, like all the characters are mixed and matched. But you know what, I want to kill this thing uh, that is stunned because it's fun to do this. Kill one adjacent normal enemy that is stunned. There we go. No modifying deck involved, which means you can't miss. So I like that. Here comes the hound, though. Oh, minus one. That's fine. That is not as fine. We need to burn. Let's burn the stun shot because I want XP, right? I think we already completed the battle goal, though, but. Let's. Poison these two. Like that. And then attack one of them. Oh, we can do a plus two. We have we have darkness in the air. I think it was the Tinkerer's card that put darkness in air. 
That's why it's in here with fools. Like it's that half. So ice was put in the air last round and then it wanes. This is strong. And that's because like at the end of a character's turn, you put the elements into the air that you invoked. And then they are strong until the end of, the, of this round. And since the Tinkerer acted first, they put it into the air and then they can't use it themselves that round. But now the Mind Thief can. Also, they, the Tinkerer did this thing so that the Mind Thief has the plus one attack in itself as well. And so we can use the blade. This is going to be an attack of two, plus two, plus one for the bonus. It's going to be five, right? Plus that this guy is poisoned. So that's six, seven. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's see. Uh, I want to. I want to go through the uh, Tinkerer's Cards one more time. Oh, I was exhausted now. Oh yeah, it ran out of cards, right? Did it get its battle goal though? Can we? No, we can't check that. I think it did. I think it got 13 XP before. I don't think it matters if you get exhausted, as long as we complete the scenario. I'm not sure. Maybe you. Maybe you have to be alive as well. Hope not. Oh, it's actually a tr yeah, the stun trap that we need a jumping. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Um, short rest. So it looks like everyone is gonna get their battle goals this this time around, which is awesome. It's not that often that happens. Okay, dark friends is good, and I don't want to kill that thing. Because I want one more round so we can pick up the treasure chest. So let's just get some gold. Shoot the dog, that's fine. Oh, miss. Okay, well the dog is going to be alive then. Hit this with... Oh, again. We have the... Why do we have still have darkness in the air though? Oh, you can use it twice, right? So you can. Oh, yeah, yeah. You used it, so it's waning. I guess you can use it twice. Then I didn't remember that. Is that how it works? No, you use it totally right when you use it. Oh, he just killed. <laughs> he just straight out killed that. So mind thief can kill living spirits with two armor now with an attack of uh, one. Well, he did use the blade, so that was plus two. I don't think that's how magic works. I don't think if you use it, I think it's used. I think someone else must have. Did the Mind Thief put Darkness into the air himself last round? Is that it? What did we do? We did the... I don't remember what we did now. We did... Yeah, we did Dark Friends... No, Dark Friends... See. Yeah, he did that. He did Corrupting Embrace. So he did Move, Jump, Poison, and he put Darkness into the air again after he used it with Dark Friends. Oh, ni no, with the, with the blade. Nice. Wow, it's, it's cool. We're starting to get the elements going a bit more now in the game as well, which is really fun. Um, I wish we could jump here, but we can't, so... I'm just gonna move the brute up here. Now, I was thinking that maybe the... Um, the Tinkerer should have taken the chest, because if it's like an item, I would like the Tinkerer to have it. Because they don't have items in all the like item slots and so on. But it's it's uh, exhausted now, so um, let's jump in there. And I don't think we can do anything decent with the top part. And you just gotta kill this dog. And blue two sounds good. Yeah, both those the three gold. It's gonna be gold from the dog as well. X first though. Doesn't really matter though. Oh, immobilized. But immobilized. Okay, so if I had planned to move and pick up the gold, that, that would have been annoying. But now I'm planning to loot to pick up the gold, so that doesn't matter. So let's do this. This is attack three. We don't use that this that often, but attack three, and it adds plus two, and gain an XP for each negative condition. This guy has uh, poison on him, so that's a negative condition. So, I mean, we don't need it, so it's, he only has one health. Oh, we missed! Okay. All of a sudden, things changed. Now, let's loot then. <laughs> so, we're gonna have one more round then. Okay. Ah, oh, well, it is like that. You can have all the good attacks in the world, but if you miss, you miss. So, let's see what this treasure chest is about. 
20 gold, that's fine. Um, that's fine. Okay. Now he's kind of stuck in here because he doesn't have a jump. So, he, well, we need to get Leaping Cleave back. To get out of here. Just in case he needs to... <laughs> I mean... When you do the draw the miss card in the modifying deck, then you reshuffle the modifier deck. So it's possible that the mind thief can get the miss again. So okay, this time let's just attack for three. There we go, and then move and pick up the gold. All right, and then the brute really doesn't have to do anything, but. You can jump around a little bit and skip attack. Yeah, the easiest scenario. This might be the easiest scenario we have played so far in the campaign. Your adversary's dead. You approach the back of the chamber, where a small blue sphere floats above the floor. You slowly reach out your hand and find the orb cold to the touch. With a firm grip on it, the temperature is almost unbearable, but you quickly stash it into your pack and make your way back to the crooked bone. So we completed all three battle goals. That's cool. <laughs> I love seeing that. That's the first time I think that we, we completed it for all, all the characters. Well, it's the first time we played with three characters in this campaign anyway. But I really like the Tinker there. I mean, that helped. The healing and putting out the trap and doing some good ranged attack as well. Stunning and putting out darkness in the air for the Mind Thief. And yeah, uh, we're going to play three-hander from now on. <laughs> I really like that dynamic of having three it's not just back and forth. You enter the abandoned tavern and call out to hail. With no response, you wander around, observing the chaotic mess around you. You wonder how she gets any work done in this environment. As you approach the counter, hail appears before you, holding the orb. Very interesting. She doesn't seem to notice you at all. A rift in our plane, somehow contained within a spherical barrier. Good thing you didn't break this on your way back. You easily could have been sucked into a realm of pure frost and been frozen solid before you had time to breathe. Or something worse could have happened. It's just so confounding. Who would have the power to do this? Hale takes a step to the left and disappears again. You wait for what feels like hours. Refusing to sit on the few stools that haven't yet fallen apart. You call out occasionally, but receive no response. Oh, you're still here. You turn around to see Hale in the middle of the room. Good. I'd like to experiment on you if it's all right. She reaches out to you and you stumble backward, falling over a table that splinters into hundreds of pieces. Oh, don't be a baby about it. I'm pretty sure it will end well. Hale explains that she wants to try to bring forth raw power from another plane and contain it in a small orb that could give enhanced powers to anyone possessing it. The containment process, however, requires a lot of gold metal. Now that you have helped me in my endeavors, I suppose I should return the favor, Hale sighs. So what was it exactly that you wanted? Hi. Oh, now we unlock the Enchantress, yeah, yeah. I think we wanted help with the... Closing the portal, right? <laughs> Forgotten Crypt. That's the new location. Yeah, here we seal off the plane of elemental power, okay. Oh, this is a cool objective. We need to protect her until she reach reaches the altars. It's like a escort mission. That's cool. We haven't done that so far in this campaign. Uh, let's do the... Before we look at the characters, let's do the city encounter. Just get it over with. Probably something bad. I've been told you are the group to talk to if you want to get something done around here. You look up from your table at the sleeping lion to see a rustic man in leather armor standing in front of you. This tavern may as well be your office due to the number of people coming through the doors looking for your help. You nod at the man and he makes his request. My brother went, on out, went out hunting in the corpsewood two days ago and hasn't returned since. I fear the worst. If you're traveling in that direction, I hope you wouldn't mind keeping an eye out for him. So we can demand payment up front before agreeing to that, or we can just agree. We're going to demand payment. Uh, the man puffs up in indignation, letting you know he's, he's insulted by your behavior. He storms out in rage. Okay. Well, nothing bad happened at least, but we didn't get any money. 
We probably would have got the money if we would have just helped him. I don't know. I don't want to get positive reputation, and I'm worried about that. So now we have a new uh, symbol down here. It's really cool. We have the Enchantress. Oh, look at this. Okay, so this says this green. I never... I don't think I'd done... I don't think it looked like this when I did it. Okay, anyway. This screen allows you to add enchantments to all of your abilities. Select the ability, then the enchantment slots, and then the enchantments you wish to add to that slot. Be aware that the different enchantments cost a different base amount. And the cost is modified by the number of enchantments already on the card and the type of ability it is. When you remove an enchantment, you recover its original cost. Okay, so you can re remove an enchantment and just get the money back. That's cool. That's interesting if you want to switch up some card. So like the trample here, for some reason you just pick the trample, which is... <laughs> yeah, so like we could add... all oh, everywhere you see those little dots, that way you can add stuff. So like normally it's move 4 and attack 2, right? So if we would make it like move 5, then we would do plus move. We could also make it jump. Well, it's already jump, so we don't need that. We could make some elements, so we could do like, we could add like dark here, so that whenever we do trample, that will infuse dark, and then that would help the mind thief use his blade. I mean, that would be cool, but we want to put that on a card that we use over and over, we don't want to have it on something that we burn. And, I mean, we could add the top here, we could do like pierce 3, would cost 30, but if we do that, then like every time we do this it's gonna be next it's gonna be more and more expensive to do more there's like a calculation for this like a mathematical thing so this is a level one card depending on the level of the card let's put pick up a recent card what is the level seven we should have a card from which one is that um no i don't think we took the level seven card we went for we went back and took whirlwind i like the equators here so it's level six so we could add move here, but that would cost 155. Oh yeah, we can see it here. Base cost is 30, plus card level. Uh, that doesn't make sense. That would be 30 plus, what is it, six times then? No, that doesn't, I don't get this math to add up. Basic base cost is 30. Then card level for some reason adds 125. I don't get that. A sick level six. That becomes I don't know how the math works, but yeah, it's way more expensive to like if we want to put dark on this one, that would be 225. If we put dark on like the trample here, that's only a hundred. So it's really expensive to do this, and what you need to do if you're really going to use this a lot is you need to go and like replay missions that are good for getting money and just grind, which I think is kind of boring. I might do that off cam a little bit, perhaps. That might be a thing I do sometimes off cam when I like if I don't want to stream or whatever, like if I'm too tired or something, I could do some gold grinding. Problem is, if I do that, I also get XP and they will level up and so on, which kind of I want you to be there for all the level ups. So, so is there anything? I mean, I'm thinking. Go to the Mind Thief. He has 77 gold. Oh, so it's 30 plus 5. Or maybe it's 5 times 25 because it counts level 6 as 5 more levels than level 1. <laughs> so, yeah, that's probably it. Like, level 1 is 30, and then you add 25 for each other level. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That's smart slow mo. Um. I mean, like the mind's weakness. What can we do with that? I'm just curious what we can do. That's to, we'll just add it to the attack. Uh, what are we using? If you have any suggestions, let me know in the chat. If you have like some favorite you used or whatever. I mean, like this would be very expensive. He has a level eight card, doesn't he? No. Did we go back and not? Oh no, we didn't take. But doesn't he have a level seven card at least? I don't remember what he got. Okay, we have two level six. Oh, there's level eight. Okay, so shared nightmare here, which is really good. Like if we would add a move here, that would be two hundred and five. So it's like no way. We're gonna have to go with something. Yeah, we're gonna yeah check a level two or level three. 
Uh, I guess X is counts like level one. So like this one here, the bottom part here is nice attack one with the strength, and I like that. If we would add an attack here, that would be 50 plus 50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it adds one for each. No, it adds 25 for each level, because that would be 50 for level one, and then level three is two times 25 more. So we can't afford that. If Is there any, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we should do like a level one card that we still use. With the scurry here, we could like add, could add like jump to scurry. That would be nice. We have other jumps though. Um, I, I almost want to do something with the brute first. So what's the base cost of of darkness? Is it a hundred? Ah, uh, it's a hundred. Would have been nice if the brute could invoke dark. You can even do any element, so you can choose at that point, at that time, what you need that right then. I mean, poison would be nice. That's a base cost of seventy-five. Oh, we could add poison to something with uh, the mind thief. Something that we use a lot. Could add it to scurry. I like scurry because we move on the top, right? That's why we still have it. I think we will. And all these are high levels. Well, that's, yeah, six, eight. Brain leech. Mm. Oh, maybe this one. But this is one I'm thinking we might switch out, switch out when he levels up to nine. I like it though, because it has the attack three and if we use frost, then it stuns as well. I mean, we use this a lot. The bottom part here we use all the time, it feels like, because it puts frost in the air. And it has... But what we could do here is we could add poison, right? So we would stun someone and also poison them. Wound isn't bad either. <laughs> There's so many good options here. Uh, I don't know. We're not going to add attack, because this, this attack is not about it doing damage. This is about stunning, basically, and putting frost in the air. But if we also, but if we also wounded, so we would stun, oftentimes we use this against some kind of big guy or like strong guy, so wounding them wouldn't be bad, and then they will be stunned, they don't act next time, like they take a wound, they don't act next time, they take a wound. I kind of want that more than poison, mostly because we don't have a wound right now. Also, Mind Thief has this. Uh, which one is that? I never remember the names. The... It's the same card. Uh, <laughs> on the top here, it has add plus two, right? For each negative condition. So if someone would... But it's the same card, so that wouldn't really make sense, I guess. Yeah, we could sit here for an hour. So we're not going to do that. So you know what? We don't have anything else to spend the money on right now. Because we're waiting for Gloomhaven to level up so we get access to more items. So, the Mind Thief here, we're going to do that. We're going to add Wound. So now we can do that because we use this a lot. And we can get it back with the Stamina Pot as well. So this will stun, add a Wound, and invoke Frost. For the... well, we have no gold for this guy. Uh, for Draco here, the Brute, he has 60. So we could do some... I mean, I would, in, I would like to increase... Trample. Like, Tramples, this is a problematic with Trample. Only, it's only an attack of two. Oh, okay. It's it's more expensive because it's a attacking multiple enemies card. So that's why it's 50 times two. And we can do it two times, even. We could add movement. That's pretty cheap, though. Let's do that. Then we don't need to use the boots as often. Or if we use the boots, we can even go up to seven. So let's add movement here. That's fun. So Trample has 5 movement now, with Jump, and then we can go up to 7 with the Boots, which means we will include more enemies in the Trample action, and that will do more damage overall. And we can also stun more with using the Hammer, so yeah, yeah, yeah that's a good combination. And we still have 30, so we could do another card, 
Like his heal two here could become a heal three. Or like to retaliate. You know, that would be more expensive. Provoking Roar, I think we this is the next card we're gonna get rid of with the brute. Because the bot I never use the bottom part and Attack 2 is too, it's, it's not good enough these days, and Disarm is good, but we have so many other Rolling Disarm, uh, Stun modifiers, all that stuff. Leaping Clee, we could add another square here, I think. Yeah, we could add another area next to this. This, though, oh, I like this. Yeah, 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 because this is his only jump card that the Brute has. And by making this, we're going to add a move. So by making this, now it's a four move card with jump, and when, you know, when he moves four spaces, that activates his helm to get plus one attack. So moving four instead of three is actually huge with the brute. And jump is, yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. So we got two, oh, we can see it here, right? You can see the little dot there. So we have two, trample and leap and cleave, both got more movement. So overall, the brute got plus two movement, <laughs> really. So that's fun. Uh, let's go back to the map here. Uh, yeah, that was fun. I like that. How are we looking on? So we have one perk point. One and one. Yeah, we got one each here. Let's... Okay, so now we don't have any gold. Otherwise, I would have gone into the temple now to work on this life goal here and so on. Also like to keep leveling up the temple like that. I'm not sure what it does, but it, it is good. So let's go on the next mission, right? Let's, and I think the next mission should be to continue this uh, quest that we're on and seal off the plane of elemental power. This is gonna be fun. You want to do what now? Hale stares at you blankly. You found a rift into the plane of elemental power and you want to close it. She sighs. Yeah, she wants to keep it open, I guess. Well, I did agree to help you. Hale begins tossing the orb you retrieved up and down in thought. Okay, based on your description, it's going to take a little extra work to close a rift of that magnitude. I could do it myself, but it would take a while, and it may get troublesome if we were to be attacked by the other side in the middle of the incantation. It would be much easier to do if I had an elemental sensor, which really is entirely too convenient because I've been wanting to get my hands on one for my studies anyway. I knew a powerful elementalist who owned one many years ago. He's dead now, but I'll take you to his crypt personally. I'd advise against handling the sensor on your own. Okay, so first we're going to pick up that thing then. Then... Right, walking through a... Stretch of lowlands, you see a man in armor sitting against a large boulder. As you get closer, you see he's bleeding from his side. Oh, what luck, he says. I got separated from my detail and then had an unfortunate run-in with a bear. I'm afraid I no longer have the strength to stand. He looks at you imploringly. You wouldn't happen to have a potion or something you would be willing to give me. I just need a little extra entity to make it back to Gloomhaven. So, we could give him a potion... I don't want to do that. We're going to claim we have no aid. Yeah, we lost reputation. I like that. I want to get as evil as we can. So now we're at minus five, I think. We could have given him a minor healing potion, maybe, but he probably would have gotten After a positive. Journey, you find an ancient, overgrown mausoleum resting along the Serpent's Kiss River. Stonebreaker really was a nice fellow. Getting crushed by massive boulders is just one of the hazards of being an elementalist, though. After clearing away the overgrown vines, you head down into the crypt. Oh, great, Hale says. These blasted cultists are everywhere nowadays. Probably looking for the sensor, too. Or they simply don't want you to have it. You look at Hale with confusion, and she points to the shadows, where dark figures in black robes emerge. Now, we want to make sure, we want to try to make it so that Fiddly kills the cultists, if possible. Like, get the killing blow. If we can remember that, because I do want to work on that life goal as well. So, gain 7 of your experience points, or loot no gold, piles or chests. 7 of your experience points is doable with the brute, we've done that before. 
Kill an undamaged monster with a single attack. That could probably happen now with the Mind Thief. Or be the first to kill. This is easier. Just make sure we, he's the first to kill. Have one of monster on the present on the map. Like this one here. We're going to keep her alive. I would reckon that there's going to be a bunch of enemies out there all the time. I think this could be done. It's two perk points. And I don't like this one because a trap to be sprung. Because you know we, I don't want to put Fiddle in that. Let's do Aggressor. I mean we've done that before. And if, we f if I forget about it, then, you know, if you can remind me in the chat, but if I forget about the battle goals, it, it is what it is. But it's good if we can get them done, especially with the new Tinkerer, because I want to, like, have have the Tinkerer catch up, in a sense, with the other two guys. You shouldn't have come here, Ghostface, one of the cultists says. Ghostface? Ugh, hail size. Dispatch these simpletons quickly. I'm already bored with them. Oh, she's the ghost face. Okay. So she's like a magician we have here now. That's an ally, I guess. Yeah. So it's the first time we... Well, it's not the first time we have an ally, but... First time we have an ally that is not a worthless uh, skeleton. <laughs> okay, so we have this room here. I don't see any other doors or whatever. So it's just kill these. We have to keep her alive. We have to protect her until she re reaches the altar. All mercenaries start with three curses. That's nasty. Ah, oh, it doesn't go for the mind thief. He's immune to that stuff. So we're gonna go out here. Probably another door. Another door is pretty long. Pretty long scenario. So. Ah, oh, thanks, Lomo. Yeah, we're gonna be try to be careful here. Now, the first thing that needs to happen is the mind thief needs to kill, be the first to kill a monster. Let's make that happen. And... We can probably just kill the little skeleton pretty easily, right? And now it's cool. I like this en enchantment stuff. Now the card here has a wound. I like it. They could shoot that and just... But then what would he do with his top action? Oh, I could do his range, I guess. Yeah, let's do these two. It's also good to do it the first round because then we put frost into the air and then next round we can use frost, right? To increase the damage here or whatever. So yeah, I like that combo here. Um, Tinkerer. I'm thinking. Tinkerer needs to kill cultists. Can we do some good attack on them here maybe? Attack 5. I don't mind burning cards. I, oh, we can do this net shooter as well. Immobilize everyone. I don't mind burning cards with Tinkerer. I mean, you know, if, if it gets exhausted, that's fine. You know, at the end of the scenario, uh, just level it up as quickly as possible. For the brute here, I think we want to have brute close to the door. It's probably going to be the one opening the door later on here. Maybe that for a bunch of small attacks. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Okay, so they're gonna move. He's gonna move attack target two. They're gonna summon living bones. She's just gonna move. Uh, she probably doesn't fight, I guess. And when you have when you have an escort mission like this, uh, they will move in the same sort of way that uh, like summons move, I think. So, like she wants to move two right now. There are situations where we could, depending on how we place our characters, we can force her to move in a certain way or like affect, you know, by knowing the rules of the um, AI movement, you can affect your your ally as well, right? Okay, let's let's just do this here. Let's stun and wound the skeleton. And then range attack a little bit here. Oh, rolling modifiers, but he, yeah, he didn't kill it. But. And another thing, we don't want these guys to summon more skeletons because that's living bones, because that's annoying. So, if we could, like, position ourselves so that they don't have a space to summon in. I mean, we could put our own skeleton. If I could now, if I weren't here, I would put the skeleton there so this cultist wouldn't have anywhere to summon. That's not gonna happen right now, though. Let's see. Attack of five. Let's see if... Oh, it's only range two. We don't want... No. We don't want the Tinker to kill the first enemy. 
We also want this to have one or more monster present, so we want to open the door before all three of these are dead. <laughs> so much to consider here. Um, so in that case, let's do this then to get three XP. Wait, can we ro How do we rotate that thing? Can't we rotate it? Thought we could. The the thing, like the. I thought we could rotate it. I think that's how it works in the board game. You can rotate it so that it fits whatever you're trying to do. But it doesn't look like we can here. Or maybe I. Is there a button I need to press that I'm not aware of? We can rotate like this. Do you guys know that? Can you rotate your AOEs? I don't know. I'm gonna wait to see if you guys tell me in the chat because I that's how I thought it was in the board game at least that you could always rotate your your pattern. Maybe you can do it here, it's just that I don't know what button I would press to that. Is there in here for controls? R oh okay, okay. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't rotate it with R. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay. I didn't... This is the first time I have one of these AoEs in the game because I just started using the Tinker, right? So, confirm targets. So, everyone will be immobilized. I'm happy that the skeleton didn't die because of the battle goal. And then... Let's move here to just block a space for this cultist so it can't summon, maybe. Oh, he died. Yeah, he died of the wound. He died of the wound, and the Mind Thief put the wound on, on him, so I assume that the Mind Thief got the credit for it now, for the kill. That should be the case, but then, on the other hand, now they have more spaces to summon in. And now we can't move in a straight line. I kind of forgot about that. But okay, let's go get this gold then. And then hopefully just kill this guy. Yeah. So that's one less summon. Oh, stun! Thank you, rolling stun modifier. So no summons at all. I love the rolling... The rolling modifiers, you know, that's so much fun. Okay. Sweet. Okay, let's check now if... So Hale is just gonna move. Let's check if the Mind Thief got the credit. No! Why didn't... What? That's weird. That failed. I don't understand that. Was it like the skeleton kill itself then? Or who killed the skeleton? I thought whoever put the... I thought the game would keep track of that. Like the... Who put, who were who were responsible for killing the enemy, which was the mind thief, because he put the wound on the enemy. Ah oh, well, okay, we don't have the battle goal then. A bit annoying, but it is what it is. Now we want to open the door before we kill this cultist, so we don't fail the mission, the battle goal for the tinkerer, right? Is that? Is that almost looks like no, we can't go on that spot. It almost looks like this is. Totally in the way. No, it can't be. So, mind thief opening door, maybe. Yeah, that should be fine. Maybe put out the mind's weakness. We could have this guy go a little later and perhaps try to kill the try to kill the cultist, I guess. Then me could the brute soften up the cultist like this without killing it. Move forward with jump. Use the new uh, or use the card that we just en enchanted. That was sweet. Like that. It's gonna try to summon again. You also gotta be careful because Hale will keep moving. So I wonder if we if we don't open the door, I don't think Hale will move though. I think it only moves like if it has a path to wherever we are going. I think that's how it works, right? That's how it works with summons, at least. Living spirits. 
And living bones, okay. Nothing to attack, sadly, within range. They are gonna move in curse, so we can't avoid that. They're gonna move two, they're not gonna get here anyway. Nothing to attack, that was a bit sad. I was hoping someone was standing just inside the door. And let's use the stamina pot and get the cranium overload back. It's such a good movement card. We still have the skeletons to put out as well, but it didn't make sense there. Because they would just curse the skeleton then, which is the same as cursing the mind thief. So. Okay, attack and this we don't need to disarm, but maybe just do an attack of three here, that's perfect. Move with jump up here. Okay, so now they're gonna curse the brute instead, which is not good because he already started with three curses, so he's gonna have so many curses in his deck now, but ah oh well. Cursing is annoying, really. Annoying effect, but it's it's uh, it's also really fun when we can curse. We haven't done that much yet, but I hope we can do it more later. Okay. So now let's attack here. Hopefully this kills this. No, it's a miss. Okay. Not too bad. Don't even need to heal anyone. Uh, let's use the stamina pot get that good ranged attack back maybe. Oh yeah, so now it did summon, yeah. Hmm. Now Hale is kinda... Oh, didn't she move at all? Huh. That's weird. Oh, maybe because she couldn't move two, so she couldn't move her full distance. She didn't move at all. I don't know. I thought she would move one then. Okay, so now let's... Is it a trample moment? Still have a lot to go though. So I don't know. We'll be one, two, three, four. Yeah. No, I think we'll keep it around. Could attack. We can use trample for the attack three pierce two instead. That that's a good one. Not really sure what we would do on the bottom part here though. Let's do that, but do it late. So maybe we need to heal at that point. Then we can use the heal. Uh, can do you do a ranged attack? Just take out the cultist. It only has one life though, so I don't want to burn any. All burns really the range attacks. That doesn't burn though. Attack two, range three, poison. That doesn't burn, so that's fine. The bottom. That's cool. Shield one when an aura affects self and all adjacent allies. That's pretty cool. You can do that. Mind thief can. Yeah, some double attack here, I guess. And poison, jump around, poison everyone. Why not? You're gonna summon again. Stupid cultist. Um, let's jump a little bit. Poison three enemies. And put darkness into the air, which is nice as well. Then use this together with frost. To hit this one that was just poisoned. Oh, I didn't die. Uh, let's put another skeleton out here. We, we don't have enough skeletons in this room, I feel. Okay, Murr is saying that an AoE kill of multiple creatures is failing the battle goal opener. Okay. Ah, yeah, strange. Okay. And turn. Okay, so let's try to kill this cult. This is just for the life goal of the Tinkerer. It's no rush. It's going to be long, far away until we want to retire the Tinkerer, but... I mean, why not use it, right? Uh, I don't think we care. Do we care about the shield? I mean, Brute is going to get hit a bunch of times, so I think we do. Let's do the shield. This is a cool one here, that it gives shield to self and all adjacent allies. I like that. Skelly versus Skelly here. Uh, hit Mind Thief as well. 
Well, there you go. Shield protected the Tinker. Minus two. Here comes the spirits. Yeah, the shield is nice. I mean, that's 21 health and a miss. <laughs> okay. And she didn't move again, but yeah, she probably just moves when she can move her full two spaces then. So we need to clear the path for her. I'm just happy that they are not really attacking her or anything. So let's attack with Pierce here. A doubler, okay. And I guess we'll just heal the brute. He doesn't, you know, one health is missing, but. Ah, we can put this guy in, in here as well. You can start hitting the... It's really crowded in here though. Two out of the four skeletons are our skeletons. And yeah, she didn't move. Okay, so... Maybe move and push. I don't know, there's nothing to push them into, but... Attack with stun. One adjacent ally may recover. Oh, just have the brute recover all the... Because that's good because it gives 2 XP as well. That's kind of why I want to do it. Yeah, why not? Probably it's not an optimal, like the Brute still has some cards, but why not? Then the Brute can go on for a while without having to rest, so. And here I just want, like, double attack. Okay, so they're gonna attack with a bunch of target stuff. It's annoying. Um, attack with strength in here. Oh, now we have darkness. We could add that. Oh, a miss. Oh, well. So strengthen, and then an attack of three here, but it's also going to add darkness. It's going to be a better attack. A rolling stun modifier. Muddle. <laughs> yeah, kill. Okay. That was because the uh, strengthen, so he got to pick the best modifier that he drew. So I guess, yeah, we'll do this for the brute. And do we want, yeah, let's stun this living spirit, right? So it doesn't attack with target two. Ah, skeleton did some good damage there, nice. And brute, oh, well brute could hit it, I guess. Yeah, okay. A miss, wow. <laughs> I think we've seen a lot of misses so far. In here. Skip movement. Do we want to push anyone? Push it over there so the skellies can fight each other. That's stunned and four damage to Tinker, that's a lot. And the skeleton took that hit, okay. Uh. Oh yeah, yeah, we were gonna open the next door, but there's no worry. That's confusing, I guess, when there's skeletons that are both ours and theirs, but... I mean, this guy's still here, so... Wanna kill the living spirit, I think. It's nice that you just got all these cards back. Um... Let's do the trample card, not the trample effect, but the trample card because the the pierce is good there. For Tinker, I think we're gonna we're gonna try to move in here a little bit more. Hmm. Could move and we could don't want the decoy here. We could do this ranged attack, I guess. 
No, it's only a stun. Yeah, it doesn't attack. Let's do standard attack then. You can still do those. Uh, no. I don't think the Tinker has any melee attacks, but you can always do the, the standard one, of course. And I guess you just move and attack with. Just take out the skeleton with Mind Thief. And then we will still have one skeleton way behind to keep the battle goal alive. Oh, the skeleton killed the living spirit. Wow, this skeleton's been doing great. You should get a medal or something. <laughs> doing really good damage. I don't really. Ex I, I don't expect the the skeletons to do that much. Um, sometimes they do. Let's pick up some gold. Uh, I guess this will just be a. Yeah. Oh, we only get three gold. Oh, that's interesting. So the level, the dungeon level has gone down because we added a tinkerer. So with only the two guys that have level like seven and eight, then we were at level four dungeon. Now we have a tinkerer level two. So the total, even though, oh, that's maybe that why it was so easy the last scenario as well. Because even if we have three characters that are two, the total level, because it's now it's split into three, right? So now it made it so that the dungeon level went down. That's interesting. Uh, okay, so let's do the standard attack here. It shouldn't kill the skeleton. Just did one damage. That's a cool sound though. Like, oh. And up here. So everyone is in a good spot. Okay, now it starts hitting her actually. I didn't think about that. Now she's moving. Okay, that's not good. We can heal her with the tinker though. Uh, okay, so someone needs to open the door. Someone needs to go back almost and, and protect her. Because she's going to move on to... Yeah, we need to... And still ways to go here. Ah. Huh. So I think, Brute, you're just going to have to keep pushing in. You have so much health and so on. Tinker needs to almost go back and heal her. I can't reach her with these. We have a heal range 3. Yeah, that's going to be it. Heal range 3. And then we need to short rest here. And that's the one we need. So, we're... Oh, we lost a mine. That's sad. But Yeah, we need to do the heal... We need to move. We need to go early as well so the skeleton doesn't hit her again or something. That could be nasty. So would that be enough? One, two, one, no, that's not enough. We need to move like four. Huh. So this one is 17, that's fine. He, yeah, and then we need to move four. You can do that with ink bomb. Hopefully that is enough, right? And then hopefully the she can go in here, the skeleton will fight this skeleton, and Tinker will have to fight the skeleton as well. And these our two main guys, so to speak, will just push forward. I think that's the plan. This would be terrible if she died. <laughs> uh, that would be oh, losing all my good cards. Gotta avoid that. Oh, we have the compass. Can the compass, can we, you can only move enemies, right? Yeah, it would be nice if we could have made the tinker move two spaces. That's only enemy, so. Okay, so what are we doing in here? This, I guess, and that, maybe? Oh, it's just gonna shield heal. Oh, that's actually good. But then it's not gonna bother her. That's nice, okay. I like that. So let's move and have a ranged attack ready. Whatever is in here. No rest among these cursed undead. As you kick through the door into the next room, you hear more commotion from the entrance. There's more of them behind us. Hail yells. What is that? A cultist elite. Okay. 
It's going to curse. An attack with a curse. Yeah. So let's see. The next door is there. So let's put the Mind Thief up here. Ranged attack this guy. A miss again. Keep getting a lot of misses. Let's uh, poison. Rolling modifiers. Here we go. Plus, plus, plus. <laughs> And let's muddle this one. Oh, miss! Oh, it's, yeah, it's all the curses. That's why we're missing so much. Because we get cursed by the living spirits. I was like, how many misses do we have? But it was the curses, right? Let's also heal up to full health there. He's going to get hit a little bit, but... Oh, no, because they are just gonna shield heal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good that we got some attacks in on them before they shielded though. Okay, so let's back up a little bit here. One, two, three should be fine there. And let's range heal her. Oh wait, did the cultist show up behind us? Oh. That's not good. So that means we can't la okay, so it's made like that, so that when we open a new door, someone shows up behind us as well, so that she, we can't leave her behind like this. We need to have her move with us the whole time, right? Okay, that could be a problem. And now the skeleton went in there, so he's kind of blocking her path. Okay, so in that case, maybe the brute should go back. I don't want her dying, that would be terrible. But now it's so crowded here, I don't think the brute can even fit in here. What? How would he go? One, two... He could get here, but she's not going to move anyway now because this the skeleton is in the way. Um, we have the boots. Yeah, we're going to move with jump and the boots and get all the way out here. And get in the way of the cultist so that she doesn't get hit. Yeah, uh, we have a lot of movement now with our characters, so uh, that feels good. Okay, so go in the way here. So they will attack the brute instead of her. Just healed her up to full health, so. And the elite is gonna curse the mind thief. We need to clear like a path so she starts moving. She's been standing still a lot because things are in her way, and now the skeleton is in her way. So if we go early, the skeleton should move here, right, to hit this skeleton. Then she can go too, because she can move through it, because it's, you know, friendly. So that plan should work. Now let's see if the Tinkerer can do some ranged attacking as well. And he gotta move in such a way that he's not in the way of her. Hmm. The scenario just became a bit, bit more tricky because there's enemies spawning behind us. I think Mind Thief can handle this. I mean, this elite is pretty nasty. I, I'm afraid that the elite is gonna start summoning more skeletons. That's gonna be problematic. So we can wound it and stun it so it doesn't do anything. And an attack of three and stun one of the skeletons. That sounds fine. Oh, now they're gonna have this thing. If they die, they will do an AoE. Living Bones will attack without moving. Okay. So... This is not... Wait, are they moving? Oh, they're doing a move and attack one with Curse as well. So it's good to stun this one and wound it. And it's good to stun one of these in case it doesn't die. And model. Okay, so it's stunned. So we're only gonna get one curse on the mind piece now. Yeah, the skeleton went there, so she should be able to move through the skeleton now. And get to this spot over here. So she needs to move. We're on a time. <laughs> we have limited time as well. I mean, cards are. Or... A, a miss again. Yeah, it's a... that was a normal miss. Yeah, it was. Ah, move on space, pick up some gold, and get to do a one attack. Why not? 
And the curse. Okay. Well, you know, we're doing we're getting all these misses, but at least you know the curses are going away. So we get rid of them from the deck. But no no no, they these guys are not cursing, it was the elite that was cursing, okay. It has an innate curse, yeah, attack supply curse. Yeah. Uh, let's see, what can we do here? Range 3, poison. Poison the skeleton. And then heal yourself. And skelly versus... Oh, okay. Our skelly's lost. No, it did two attacks. It hit her as well. Huh. <laughs> We're pretty tough spot here. We need some good attacks now to get rid of these. And things need to happen. We don't want to burn trample, so let's redraw. Might actually have to... Maybe we should do a trample here on these three. Why didn't she move again? What's wrong with her? Why didn't she... That I don't understand. She's supposed to move too. And she had two spaces she could move. Ugh. It's annoying with like escort missions because you have like a character that you need for the mission, but you can't control it. I could do a whirlwind. No, I'm gonna save the whirlwind, but I want to we need to do something. I'm gonna do the trample. We need we need to do something there. We don't need to kill them of course, but we need to make her move and I don't know why she didn't move. Now we need to heal her again, if possible. Then we need to be closer, so we need to move a little bit. Yeah. Mind Thief needs to do something up here as well. Could just kill one of them, I guess. I don't like that though. I don't like burning cards here. Feels like we're gonna. This is gonna take a while, so we don't want to burn cards. Okay, so she's gonna move too. She's always doing 99, obviously. So I'm gonna check her this time that she actually does what she's supposed to do. <laughs> I mean, she can move through us, so she. There's no reason for her not to move because someone is in her way. So brute can stand here. That shouldn't be a problem at all. Okay, good job, brute. Except, oh well, he can go back here. I want him to be able to do this top part here as well. This is going to be an attack of three now. There we go. Okay. I wish we could use the compass on her. Just make her move two spaces, but... Uh, I can't do that, so... Oh, I don't want to stand there because then she's not going to move. I mean, she is. she should move through our characters, otherwise something is wrong. So let's heal this to full. Okay. Oh, that one ran out. Okay. So, Mind Thief attacking with Wound here and Poison and Muddle. So many effects. And let's just try to kill one of them. There we go. And heal up. Okay, so let's watch her now. Well, first it's a cultist, but... Oh, it's healing, okay. Oh no, oh yeah, that was stunned, okay. So, oh, there we go. Now she's moved, finally. Okay, so can we we can do that and that should be good to kill these two. You could shoot at one of them as well, I guess, since you want to kill cultists. 
which I perfectly understand and sympathize with. And Mind Thief needs to work on the big guy, I think. And we don't need to kill everything, but... Just need to get her moving, that's like priority one, right? So, attack and strengthen over here. Rolling modifiers. And then we get strengthen. Instead of doing this, which is an attack of one, we do a standard attack, which is a two. And stun. That's never a bad thing. <laughs> nice. Okay, so Tinkerer can attack here. Nice. Then move. Make sure we're not in her way, but that should be fine. We're in, actually blocking that skeleton from her as well. Okay, no damage. And uh, attack, I guess. What was that? Oh, that was the target uh, rolling modifier. First time we see that, you're being used. I didn't recognize the symbol. So that was if there had been two enemies here, you could have hit another one. Hmm, cool. Skip that attack and then just, just move four up here. Skip attack. It's a long scenario, but I'm enjoying it. I like the whole puzzle here of escorting this. Oh, a miss. Oh, poor Tinker getting smashed here. Move! There we go. Okay, so <laughs> she she's on the move now. Uh, we have nothing behind us. We will probably we want to keep someone on the map when we open doors. We probably open the door when there's one left, right? But it's long ways to go here. That movement could be good, and that that could be good. Tinker needs to rest. I think Tinker is not gonna make it the whole way, but it is fine anyway. It would be nice for the poison. We don't have it. We, I wish we we should get the winged boots for the Tinker actually. Because Thinker has a lot of good movement cards, but a lot of times it feels like it gets stuck because of obstacles, so... Four... Four is fine... Yeah, that, that's fine. I think Wing Boots is the way to go there. Short rest over here... Uh... Okay... Uh, as long as we can get two attacks in, I'm happy. Brain Leech lets us get this... Uh, strength then as well that's an attack of three okay so I think this is fine just shield heal summoning okay so no attacks this time just but it's annoying it healed away the poison right and, and the wound <laughs> okay strength and attack here I wish we stun it now we can get a rolling modifier going no because I don't want it to summon that's the thing but we don't have any frost, otherwise I could have stunned it now, but... Oh, nice. Plus two because of the strength. And, and the plan was to go four up around the skeleton then, because we don't have any jump. And then poison attack this guy. Oh, it killed him! Perfect! Because then that was a kill for the a cultist kill for the tinkerer, which needs it for his life goal, and it means it's never gonna summon another skeleton, which is even better. Can pick up gold. Not gonna push. We're gonna smash. Now she can move still, right? If we move this guy, she could move here, but I don't know if it's worth it. I think I'd rather save the compass for maybe the last room or something. Yeah, she goes there, that's fine. The skeleton... Yeah, okay. Um, so I'm thinking a Mind Thief... Mind Thief will... 
I think we'll keep this alive, the skeleton. So if Mind Thief kills this one, Brute moves up, next turn we go in the next room. That that should be fine, something like that. Can do two attacks here even if need be, you never know. Might miss and so on. Move and heal. A ranged attack. That's the only like normal attack three, range three attack that the Tinkerer has uh, that doesn't burn a card, I think, right now. It's gonna be interesting when it levels up to see what we get and so on. And that's kind of in the way though. So she can't move two right now, so we need to move in some way. Well, the Tinker is gonna move out of here, so the Brute could move in there. Yeah, that, that's that's fine. Maybe we should be able to kill it. It's gonna shield heal. So here we want to attack first. Okay, that's fine. Then we can. We're actually instead of just moving normal, we're gonna do this move three anyway because we're gonna put frost in the air, which we might be able to use next round. And it doesn't burn the card, so. And let's move to, we're picking up a bunch of gold here as well, more than we usually do. And, oh yeah, the heal was only for allies, it doesn't heal himself, oh, miss. Okay. I like that as well, we need a bunch of gold for the Tinkerer to get some, some uh, gear, we don't really have much gear for it. So... This is kind of in the way makes it longer for her to go and all that, but... Well, if we kill it now, we fail the... The mission for the Tinkerer, that's the thing. We might kill it with this, because this is an attack of six. We're doing a... This is weird, but we're doing a small attack instead. Oh yeah, we went straight through the armor. Oh, minus two though. Okay, we wouldn't have killed it anyway, but I... I we are pretty close to completing that uh, battle goal for the Tinkerer. Well, I guess the Tinkerer has to survive then, because it says... Have one or more monster present on the map at the beginning of every round. So if the Tinkerer is dead in the last round... I don't know how that counts. Because the Tinkerer might make it, but I'm scared that it might run out of cards. For the end because it's such a long scenario but thinking of that we should be careful with burning cards i guess then okay mind thief you need to go in here and open the door and attack a little bit and you can come later and by that time okay short rest the brute should go after the other ones after 47 and try to get rid of this stupid skeleton yeah it's gonna move an attack oh it's gonna attack someone twice but she can move through here i guess she oh, it's good that she always acts last because as long as we're standing next to an enemy it will attack us instead of her right okay let's have the mind thief run a little bit to go in here Oh, living corpses. Such a huge dungeon, this. Okay, traps with damage 5. Yeah, they're damage 5 now instead of damage 6 because we did we dropped one level in in dungeon level because we added a tinkerer. That's interesting. Um, They are going to attack pretty hard. But they're also going to move a lot. Move 2, move 3. So there's no real way. I wish we could push them, though. That would be sweet. We just push them in there, but... Yeah, we're just gonna go up here and attack the big guy with poison. That will help in the long run. And muddle him as well. That's cool. A lot of damage. Let's muddle the other one so at least those attacks will be a bit weaker. Oh, we even got the model modifier. <laughs> so they're both gonna attack the Mind Thief, but they would both be muddled at least. 
And I was talking about not burning cards, but I kind of want to do this. This is so cool. And I also want XP for the Tinkerer, and that's such a cool effect. Attacking in that pattern, like a flamethrower. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Oh yeah, yeah, he's even wound. Is he wounded? Why is he wounded? I'm not sure. I don't remember us doing any wound effect to him. Did we get like a? Do we have a wound modifier? I don't remember. Um, okay, take three damage. No, it's their thing, right? Why are both of them wound? Oh, did they get wounded from the flamethrower? Yeah, they did. Flamethrower, attack three, wound. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Such a cool <laughs> card there. Okay, Mind Thief is not doing good. Oh, look at this. Now more people show up. Bandit Guard and Living Spear. Okay, we need to move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to move. We can't fight everything in here. It's not going to work out. Um, I'd rather do two attacks of three, so... Let's begin with this one and see where we end up. A miss. Oh, stupid curses in this scenario. Okay. Barut is doing fine though, but... I'm a little bit worried about the Mind Thief and the Tinkerer. At least she moves there. Okay, so now I'm thinking, I mean, as long I think Barut just gonna... Okay, she's gonna move one, two. I don't know if the brute needs to be here anymore. Could he just? Well, he if he moves, that's the problem. If he moves away, then they will attack her. So he needs to be back there. Mind thief needs to do his thing up here. And Tinker will help as well. That's uh, pretty good, but we're low health. Maybe a heal and an attack. Don't want to burn cards. I, I think I don't think we can make it to the end of the dungeon with the uh, with the tinker. Sadly, I don't think that's gonna happen. Cause there's one more room, and there's probably a bunch of guys in there. Okay, um, attack and disarm. Another curse. <laughs> Just heal yourself a little bit. Not that you really need to, but. And here I'm thinking, let's get rid of these if possible. Again, I don't think there's a way and heal mind thief because I think the thinker is done for anyway, which means that we shouldn't have cared so much about the battle goal for it because I don't think that, like if you if you complete your battle goal, we saw that in the last scenario that if you complete your battle goal and then you get exhausted, but the other guys complete the mission, then you still get your battle goal. But in this case, the battle goal is to have an enemy on the map at the beginning of every round. I wonder if that keeps on even in death. Do you guys know that? Tell me in the chat or in the comment section afterwards if you're watching this afterwards. If that works that way, like if you if that goal keeps going even though the, the tinker is gone. I don't know. Guess we're gonna find out, because that's probably what's gonna happen. Uh, it's already wounded, but let's just do a little double attack here. There and normal attack. Okay. Here comes the bandit as well. Yeah, good. It's good that we we have the brute there to just take the damage instead of her. But now we need to get in the next room so she can move. And there's traps here, which is a problem. And we have nothing to push into the traps. Oh, should we have the tinkerer just go into a trap then? Because I think it's gonna die anyway. Kind of mean, I guess, but... I mean, it is going to die. There's no way time-wise. It's going to take her, like, one, two... It's going to take her a while to get in there. 
So you know what? We're going to do this. We're going to long rest the Mind Thief. We're going to use... Don't we have a heal? We have that heal. Okay, so we're going to... Nah, we're gonna do that. The brute needs to move as well to like kind of catch up to the other guys. He has a push there, but we have nothing to push now. We should have, I mean, should it was set up to go in there and push one of the living corpses into it, right? That was like <laughs> we just got that for free from the game and we didn't use it really. I think if we can put the maybe put the brute in a way so that he keeps like blocking it so they can't get to her that would be good another curse so many curses it's silly yeah we're just gonna put him here so he is in the way of her and we can use the potion as well now oh we still have the things so we can move someone into a trap but yeah okay we're, we're gonna do this this feels a bit mean but you know take one for the team here tinkerer and burn the ink bomb to stay alive. Can't do anything there. We need a path for the sorceress or enchanter. I guess she's an enchanter, right? Oh, the stupid curses. If it weren't for the curse cards, we would have killed everything by now. So, long rest. And I still want to do the cranium overload at some point, so... I think this one will go. And she is getting close. Okay, so now we need to... Tinkerer needs to open the door. Well, it, it's a problem if she goes too fast as well, right? Because then she will be hit what, by whatever is in there. Uh, let's redraw that. But I mean, Mind Thief is here as well. So I think Tinkerer will open the door. Mind Thief will run in. And do a bunch of attacks. We have jump, so he, he can just jump over the traps. Brute will stay a little bit behind, but still move into the room. That would probably be good, and that, okay. Yeah, we'll see. This is a fun mission. <laughs> so I think it's the longest mission we played or something. And I'm happy that we went down in uh, dungeon level though, because we added a tinkerer. Because this is could this could be potentially be very hard uh, in some situations, right? Okay, so let's yeah, we can just run in here. Okay, that's what's in here. There is a treasure chest there. I want that. And no traps. She needs to reach this altar, right? That's what I assume. Is that the altar? That looks more like an altar. Uh, yeah, so that's probably where she's going. So normal cultists, uh, living corpse. I'm, I'm not that scared about living corpse. Like, they hit hard, but they move so slow. They even have these things where they take damage and all that. Um, I mean, if we... They are going to move anyway, so we can't avoid them. So sadly, my thief will have to go up close. Poison the big guy. Oh, doubler. Well, doubler on one. <laughs> Uh, okay, model the big guy. Miss, but he got modeled at least. Then Tinker can move in here and heal the Mind Thief a little bit. There's a lot of gold in here as well. Right, range attack. One of these. Okay. Here goes the cultists. Minus one, nice. Because then, if you know, if the tinker survives, we can keep it as long resting next round. So, okay, let's just do one attack here. Oh, there's another skeleton showing up. Yeah, there's people showing up behind us all the time, right? But they haven't acted yet, so I don't want them going and hitting her, which means we'll skip movement, we'll attack again. Just won't die. 
then we need to stay behind her so that she doesn't take the hits. Alright. Oh, he's gonna block the doorway, so that's good, I guess. So everyone else can't reach him, right? Ah, that's bad. Six damage. We burn a card. I think so, because the other one might not hit as hard. They are muddled, so there's that. I wish we could use Scar in there. So much gold to pick up with a loot too, but okay, five damage. <laughs> and she moves. That's good. She's really close now. How many rounds? So one, two. It's two more rounds, I think, or three, maybe. I don't know if she has to get there, or I don't know exactly where she has to get. And now we have 7 XP with the Brute as well. I don't know, I don't, I don't really care about Bat Googles now. This is such a long scenario, I don't want to fail it because it takes forever to redo it. So I care more about just making it through. So I think... Brute... Yeah, you just do an attack of 5 and then move up here. Just keep the... Keeping the 6. Okay, here, long rest. Just to keep it around. This is a trouble somewhere. <laughs> I don't want the mind thief to die. Uh, or like run out of cards for I wish we had the cranium overload now. We could just kill this guy, one of these. We can still do two attacks though, which is good. So Okay, so much happening now. Yeah, we can still We're killing the... They're gonna move and immobilize. Ooh, that's nasty. But it doesn't matter that much right now if Mind Thief gets immobilized because he can just stand here and fight for a while, so... It's not as big of a problem as it could have been. But she needs to move... Yeah, I want her to move there, not in here. She needs to be behind the line, so to speak, of, of friendlies. That's good. Some damage dealt with there. And a miss. Okay, that's good. And that didn't do any damage. Zero damage to Tinkerer. Not sure why. That's weird. Oh, it had attack zero. Okay, so it, de it had attack zero. So if it didn't get like plus, then it didn't do any damage. Okay, brute. Can you kill this thing? Yeah, he's been trying to kill that skeleton for, for so long now. Okay. Okay, here comes the immobilization. Oh, they're gonna immobilize some models. They actually made uh, Mind Thief strengthen instead of, of a model because of his Dragon Helm. That was good. That's <laughs> such a good effect. Okay, and here, sadly, we're gonna lose the Tinkerer. So we'll see what happens with her battle goal. If we make it, that is. So now the question is, I wonder if she's just gonna go to or if she actually needs to move into the altar as well. That's I'm not sure about that. Whirlwind would have been nice now if we could get into position there. I think we could do that. 28, if you go first. No, you can't move. Oh, that's the thing. My thief can't move. Oh, well. So instead, it's double attacking, right? Not getting, I'm not getting good return from my attacks. It was already strengthened, I guess. But yeah. Come on, it's poison and everything. There you go. Um. You know what? We can use the compass here. 
Look at this. We can force that guy to go into this trap. <laughs> I'm so happy I saved the compass. Uh, I'm so happy I saved the compass for that moment. I love when that happens. It's just so beautiful. Okay. So nobody's done, sadly. What are they going to do? Move 3, attack 4. We could make this guy... Wait, can we make him attack? We could almost make him... If I move in the right way, I could make him attack the Brute instead of the Mind Thief. We could push him away, right? It's not going to work, though. But we could move, like this. Maybe take the treasure chest with the brute as well. That would be sweet. And then we can push him. I don't want to push him so that he hits her, but attack four. Well, actually I might. I mean, she has ten health. She's not gonna die probably anyway, right? And then... Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, and then we'll do a normal attack here. Model is good. Plus three is good. Nice. Love our modifier decks at this stage in the game. Alright. Let's see. Oh, he actually blocked the... Well, yeah. Oh, he did hit the mind tip anyway. Okay, we have to burn two cards then. That sucks. Um... Hate burning that, but we have. I want to keep the. Oh wow, this is terrible right now. Mind thief is just gonna die. He's not gonna get. Yeah. Mind thief is done for. That went quick because he had to burn. Oh, she's not go. What? Why? Why did she move? Is she going for that thing? Stupid game. Okay, that pisses me off. Come on. It says she has to get to the altar. Doesn't that look like an altar more than? Why is that there then? It just confuses you. Don't have that there. In the okay. Well, it kind of makes sense that she's going to the middle of the room. I guess where everyone's standing around it. Sure. Okay. Well, and anyway, then Brute is alone, and she's gonna go there. On the next turn. So as long as she doesn't die. We should be fine. Now I hate that the mind thief died. Because he could just kill one of these straight up. But. In that case. We'll do whirlwind. I mean brute is acting before her. So they should go for the brute. And not for her right. And he has a lot of health. Well, not the big guy, because he's next to her. Well, yeah, yeah, I'll move in here. I'll move in here. I get plus one to attacks. And then I do whirlwind, so that's a five attack. That's sad. Kale moves forward and grabs the sensor. She holds it aloft and speaks a few words in an unknown language. Fire bursts forth and immolates the remaining undead, reducing them to ash. I just hope, don't tell me if you know, I don't want to be spoiled, but I just hope that it wasn't some good item in the chest that we now missed. I hope it was like 20 gold or whatever. Or like a perk point or Kale something. Breaks the smallest of smiles. Well, now that that annoyance has been dealt with, let's get on with the real fun. Show me to this rift of yours. Okay, so did we... Yeah, okay, so now we solved that uh, riddle. Even though the Tinkerer died, or exhausted, it still got his, uh, I don't know the gender of that thing, it, he, I'm just going to call him he. He still got his uh, two perk points. He, did, he still completed this, having an, a monster on the, yeah, so that's good to know. So if you have Aggressor, that character doesn't need to survive till the end, as long as you, I guess you still have to complete this for the end, like, you still have to have this condition going until the end of the mission, but... Got too much XP with the Brute, and for some reason that didn't work with, yeah. But that's fine, two perk points. I think the Tinkerer got a full perk now. I think it also might have leveled up, because we did do a lot of XP stuff, and it was a long mission, so. 
Let's see. Oh, Prosperity is nice. Leveling up Gloomhaven. Runus Rift. Ah, look at that. It killed three three uh, cultists. So three out of 20 now uh, for the life goal of the Tinkerer. I like that it updates like that. Um, so I, And I like this mission when it's like 20 bandits or cultists. It doesn't matter. It's just a combination. It's more annoying with the brute here. It's, it's the specific three uses. Three lurkers right there. Um, okay. Not leveling up though. Leveled up. <laughs> we leveled up the mind thief. Wow. It's level nine now. Uh, we got a perk though, with the perk points. So, what are we adding then? Could add some heal. You know what? I need. I need to let's see if there. Um, I don't know. I don't know if there's a demo for the game. I will say though to you guys, I mean to everyone watching, but especially to you guys who's been around this whole time and some I know some of you have mentioned that you're curious about maybe picking up the game. I've been in contact with Asmodi Digital and I haven't gotten any promise yet, but as it looks I will get some codes. So I think I will get some codes and then in a future stream I will start giving away like one code every stream or something to the viewers. Um but I need to take a two minute break. So meanwhile, I'm not going to switch screen. Meanwhile, I'll, I'll keep this screen up so you guys can see this. And maybe you want to figure out some ideas on uh, what to pick here. What perk to pick for the Tinkerer. And I'll be right back. Like two minutes. Right. Let's see if you guys have any input. I'm thinking <coughs> at the beginning here, since it's just level two, I'm thinking just like remove bad cards at the beginning and then get the, the cool fancy cards like later on. But I like this one. Add a plus wound card. <sighs> That's pretty cool. Add a plus three card is cool as well. This is pretty good though. Ignore negative scenario effects. We can do consistency again. But you know, I think this is important now. Because at this stage in the campaign, I feel like mo a lot of the scenarios have negative effects. Like everyone starts cursed or everyone starts with like minus cards and so on. So I I'm going to go resilient. So we have that. Then, then it's, you know, in the bank for the tinkerer. Uh, it's nice having that. So it ignores negative scenario effects for the rest of the game, right? Um, and next time we'll do consistency again. It's going to level up soon. So we're going to get another perk point soon. We also leveled up the Mind Thief, which is crazy. So it's max level. <laughs> so quick. It's way quicker to level up than, than the Brute, right? Oh, this is cool. Okay, so here we have the... Final two cards we can pick from in the game. And many as one is a rat king. <laughs> that 
Draco would like to have that. He likes the rats. The Rat King. Okay, so it has 9 health, 2 movement. Attack is half of the Rat King's current health rounded up, so... It means it starts with an attack of 5. Wow. That's really cool. Like, we haven't had a summon for a while because I haven't used the other rats, but this sounds nice, having the the Rat King in. Bottom part is an aura, that's cool. All allies within range 2 add plus X attack to all their attacks this round, where X is the number of your allies within range 2 of you. So, if at maximum, unless we have some other ally, like the Sorceress or whatever, normal game... Mind Thief will have at the maximum two allies, which means if they are both within range of the Mind Thief, they will both get plus two attacks. But this is ongoing. So that's that's cool. But then we need to keep them together and all that. That depends a lot on this on the scenario if we want to keep them together or not. The other card is Phantasmal Killer. It's an augment. It's a cool one though. On your melee attacks, instead of attacking, if you have darkness you can use, then you can just kill a normal target instead. <laughs> That's a cool effect to just have ongoing. Problem is though, in that case, I mean, it's not that, I mean, we don't have constant darkness. And when we do, I kind of want to use, I mean, we can use it for the dagger as well. Bottom part, move to loot one. Invisible and put darkness into the air. It's pretty good as well, I guess, because we could You can move a little bit and you just loot and then you go invisible. I like the invisible I mean, there's an invisible cloak that I used on the mind thief when I played it in previous uh, campaign uh, like not campaigns But in the adventure mode But I, I agree with Mur. the summon the rat king is too cool not to take. Yeah it, It's a really Ah, we could go for some older card, I guess. But I want the Rat King. It just sounds too cool to not take. We might not use it every scenario, though. Because depending on the scenario... I mean, it only moves two, so the risk is that it gets lagged behind. But if we can use it, that, that's a really cool card. Many as one. And the bottom part is not terrible either if we're in a situation where we feel like there's no way we're gonna have use of a summon in this one we could just put on this aura instead and allies within range two will get extra attack damage so what would we be removing though we have so many good cards with this guy it's hard to imagine removing anything i was thinking about this because i, I don't like the bottom of this card that is like move four just done one adjacent enemy the top is so good though, attack 3 and then we often have times have frost and then we also stun, so I like the top part. This one we just en enchanted, we're not going to get rid of that. Scurry is good. <sighs> but maybe get rid of Scurry, because it's like... I like the movement 3 on top, I guess, but loot 2, we never used that really. I mean, we could even get rid of Mind's Weakness. It's not, like the last scenario we didn't even use the Mind's Weakness as an augment. I kind of like having one augment though. On the other hand, if we're thinking from a like economical perspective of the, having 10 cards, if we replace the mind's weakness with the rat, then the mind's weakness, if we use the top part, that's one card that is stuck there for the rest of the scenario, and that's the same for the rat. So it's kind of. could get rid of Fearsome Blade, I guess. It isn't a push though on the top, which is kind of nice. Bottom is worthless though, I would say. Move four and then a, just an attack of two to burn the card. No, that's not never worth it really. It's, I, I think we either get rid of Fearsome Blade or the Mind's Weakness, but I kind of feel like we should have one augment at least in the deck. Since it adds plus two to all the other attacks. On the other hand, we have gotten some. We've gotten some ranged attacks now. Well, a few. So, I mean, they don't benefit from the augment, so... But we still have Dark Frenzy. We have this one with double attack on top. That is really good with the uh, Mind's Weakness, because that makes those attack three poison, attack three model instead of one. Oh yeah, that's a good, good point there. You can buy the game on Steam, 
play it for like I think it's you should check it that the terms first. I think it's two hours. If you play like less than two hours, then you can refund if you just want to try if it works on your system. Uh, and I mean, I'm playing on the maximum graphic detail level or whatever. You can lower that, obviously. Uh, and also on the Steam page, you can see what it says there that you're supposed to have from your computer to be able to handle it. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend when we summon the Ratkin, yeah. Okay, I'm going to get rid of Fearsome Blade. I like having the push in there, but I think the bottom part of this card is too bad. And I think the top card part as well, like... The push is nice, but it's only an attack of two. I mean, attacks of two at this stage, mm, it's not that good. So let's get the cool rat in here as well. Draco's gonna love that as well. Okay, perk. So this is the last perk we get that is the standard perk. Then we can get more if we do battle goals, of course. And we're almost we're almost taking everything here. Um, so I think the last time we talked, we talked about the freeze. Add a plus two with freeze, right? The other option is pacify here to have a rolling disarm and a rolling model. So that would add two cards that are both rolling. So that's good. So it's either pacify for two rolling cards or just add a straight up plus two freeze. I don't care about pull really and immobilize. Those are too situational. Especially if we don't. I mean, pull is more if you're doing an augment melee, pure melee deck. We mixed in some range cards, and then we don't want to pull them. But if you... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, consistency, we don't need to do the second one, because we have the second skin here. So it, it already takes care of two out of three minus ones, right? So I'm leaning mostly towards the pacified. Getting two more rolling modifiers. This, I mean, rolling modifiers is so good, because they don't... I mean, it's, that extra, it's extra cards, but they just keep rolling. You get something else. Adding a plus two card is nice, but then that's the stop of the chain, so to speak. That's like adding one card, more card into the deck that doesn't roll. But I'll, I'll, you know, I don't know what you guys think. I guess we will get one more at least as well before we retire him, because we will do some battle goals and so on. We might even not even retire the mind thief uh, for a while. We might keep it and get a new character instead of instead of the Draco's brute. And keep going with the Tinkerer. And then, you know, I think the Mind Thief will stick around for a good while. Because it's so good. So, Okay, Pad saying Pacify. And, yeah, okay, yeah, let's go with Pad. I like that idea. Just These rolling modifiers are so good. And now we have, what do we have? We have four, five, we have six, six we have ten rolling modifiers. So like almost half the deck is rolling modifiers. <laughs> so that combos so well. I mean, you can get like, oh, rolling plus one, then muddle, then stun, then disarm, then, you know, it's so cool. I love it when you play the board game as well, because then you're actually drawing the cards. And you're like, oh, I get to draw another one. <laughs> okay, so we're done there. Level nine. Cool, cool, cool. No more XP on. So now we don't care about XP at all for the Mind Thief. And let's do the city quest. I, like, these city encounters, they've just been so bad for us. It's like, let's get a good one. Come on. On a trip to the coin district, you catch sight of an old wiry. I don't know how to say that. Viri? Valrat, carrying a large, intricate vase out of his front door. As you get closer, the Valrat begins to struggle with the vase, sweat pouring from his brow. Under the strain, the Valrat loses his balance and the fragile vase topples downward as he yells a string of curses. We can attempt to catch the vase or we can let it fall to the ground. No, we're gonna tr attempt to catch it. Why not? Oh, we got five gold each. We manage to grip it, preventing tragedy. He's relieved and offers to pay for our trouble if we carry it the rest of the way. Yeah, five gold each. Well, collective. Oh, that wasn't that great. <laughs> but in that case, we'll give it all to Fiddly here. He needs the gear. And he has 13. Is there anything we could get for for him for 13? I want him to get the winged boots. That would be really handy with his movement cards and everything. But that is 21. Yeah. Costs extra because we're evil. Um, boots of speed, I don't care for that much. Yeah. 
So we'll do winged shoes once we reach once we reach twenty. Uh, Niramas can the mind thief can hold another small item now. Lock that. But he only has five gold. But we should remember that we should get. I think what what I want there for that right now is the uh, the stun powder. So you can add stun to a single attack. It's it's just a one time use. But it could be really handy in some situations. We already have a bunch of ways to stun, but just adding more stun, you know, can never hurt. Love it. Okay. For Draco... I don't know. I don't think we want to change out anything here. And yeah, I think that's just it. When we get to... When we get to 21 with... With Niramas, we're going to add the stun powder. When we get to 21 with Fiddly, we're going to get the winged boots. That's the plan. We, when we get more gold overall, we might do more of this enchanting stuff, but that's very expensive. Now we could go like, I don't know, I don't know what to pick. I mean like this one maybe. Uh, this was pretty easy, right? We could go in here and just kill, kill, kill and just do it over and over just to get a bunch of gold, but I don't really like to play that way. Now this mission we failed last night or yesterday. Um, with the whole doll thing. Uh, but then we tried with two characters. I mean, maybe we should try it with now that we have a third character. We're still on level three, which is nice. It's because even though we leveled up here, how does that work though? We have nine plus seven, that's 16 plus two, that's 18 divided in three. Yeah, yeah, it goes level three. No, divided by... Three, how does that work? It's like average level, right, of our characters. How, how do we calculate that? Nine. I don't understand why we are level three and not level four. We were level four. It says here, okay. Take the average character level in the party, divided by two and rounding up. Ah, uh, okay, my mind is tired now. How do I get the... Uh, okay, so the average... Okay, okay. So the average is 18 divided into 3. The average is 6. Yeah, yeah, the average character level is 6. Divided into is level 3. Okay. So when do we hit level 4 then? When the average character level is... It's rounded up. So as soon as someone levels up, right? Because then the average level will be like 3.5, 3.3. And then, what? I don't know. I think it is next time someone levels up, we'll go to level 4. Which will happen very soon. Uh, but we have one more mission, basically, we can do on level 3. So maybe we should use that to try to clear this. Because we did this last night, then we did it on level 4. The side quest. Then we have this one here, help. Okay, so this, okay. So this is the end of this quest line, I guess, that we're on. And this is to help her cl close the rift. And then we have to protect her for 10 rounds and she must survive. So that's like a mission. Ooh, that's interesting. That's a mission that where we probably just stand around and just protect her and there's like enemies coming. So we don't need to run as much. In that case, it's good to have summons. So in that case, like the Rat King is going to be sweet. Maybe we should even put in more more summons. I don't know. And yeah, we still have this one as well. It says if you think you deserve it. <laughs> and what else do we have? We have we're going to help the dragon at some point. I, I know you want to Draco. I'm just putting that off a little bit. Saving it a little bit. This is if we want to go into the portal, but we already decided to try to close it, go this route. We still have this mission that I hate in here to help Jixera and clear out the sewers. That's like a long quest line, I think, that we're working on. But I failed it a bunch of times. But again, I failed it on two characters, so maybe... Hmm. What do you guys want me to do? Side quest keep doing what we've been doing i guess that makes most sense to do this enchant request like in the stream right oh yeah yeah i guess that makes most sense or if you want to 
try the side quest. The, uh, the thing is, I'm thinking about that this is the only time we get to do another one on level 3, I think. So that's why I maybe we could wrap this up. On the other hand, then this would be harder, I guess. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So do you want to go on with the with the core quest or do you want to do a side quest? I'll just do it two options like that to make it easy instead of doing like oh this one or that one. I'll let you guys decide. Yeah, Mer Mer wants to see the doll quest. Yeah, side quest here. The stupid doll. <laughs> I had such a trouble was it yesterday when I didn't understand the whole doll thing, but Okay, let's do it then. Let's do the doll. Let's see if we can get this done now. Your phone's we already done this. I can just tell you that this is like a guy and we need to throw the doll into the well to save his daughter because it's like a wishing well. And he can't reach it, so we're going to try to do it instead of him. Okay, stumbling through the woods, you're alarmed to hear a sudden sound of large animal rummaging through the underbush. You crouch down, gouging the grunts and growls. Through the trees, you see a large bear approaching your location. It has not noticed you yet, but you will imagine you imagine it will soon. We can take the opportunity to run from the bear, or we can attack it, hopefully catching by surprise. We're going to attack the bear. The bear roars as you approach, making powerful swipes with its claws. Still, with the surprise of the commotion, the bear is not, a, not all that committed to the fight. After a bit of back and forth, the animal grunts and runs off into the trees. So we got wounded. It's not great, but at the same time we have a bunch of heals now with the Tinkerer, so we can heal early on. So that's probably fine. From the wells. Yeah. Battle goals. Seven of your experience points or health at the end of the scenario is equal to your maximum health. That's really hard to pull off. Use no items. That's not going to happen. Loot the chest. That's not going to happen either. Because I don't think there's any chests in here. Uh, <laughs> Mur says on his honeymoon, his wife thought a deer was near him, but he thinks it's a bear. Okay. <laughs> I don't think we can do any of these. I mean, using no items, I don't think it's possible since we have like passive items. I don't know if that counts though, like using them. And I do want to use the shoes and so on, so. I don't think there's a chest. We'll take this. Maybe there is a chest that I forgot about. We'll take this just in case. Um, have five or more total cards in your hand and discard that's hard to do or kill five monsters that's easier to do in a sense I think so let's try this again and, and again this is going to be we're going to be on a lower level of the dungeon and have one more character so I mean we were close to completing it last time so we should be able to now and it's going to help to be three characters instead of two because there's a lot of like you know the doll thing, like one character needs to go get go up with the doll, another one needs to go in here, press the button to open the door. It's gonna help to be three instead of two. Okay, and I also have a lot of ranged stuff going on with the Tinkerer, which is gonna be sweet to get rid of these. Now, I think what we did last night, we first time we fought a bit and then we didn't make it at the end. Second time, we tried to just run and that didn't work because we got so much attacks on us. So that we had to burn cards. So this time I think we're going to fight in this room. Try to clear out most of the things here. Uh, there's going to be more Vermlings appearing behind us as well. But we're going to try to clear this one out. Open the door and then move all everyone move up together. Because if one of us go exhausted then one of the other ones can pick up the doll. Uh, we did spread out too much uh, last time. Also as you can see now. I don't know if you remember if you watched last uh, yesterday's stream. But there's two more Wormlings here now. These guys, no, three. There were one Elite and there were these guys weren't here. So that's because we have three characters. So it does scale, you know. So yeah, we'll see. Maybe it's not that much easier anyway. There's the doll, by the way. I think the Brute should take it first. I mean, he has most health and so on. So I think we're going to have the Brute do... Um, <laughs> I think we'll go like that. 
can move in a straight line, attack that little guy, but then he needs to stand there, I guess. Yeah, I think that's fine. Tinkerer should attack. Can we attack twice even? Would be nice. We can attack two. Oh, we can immobilize those up there, but I don't want to burn too many cards, so. And I think Mind Thief is going to go this way as well. Go straight up, fight these. Then we'll have the Mind Thief run in here and press the button there later on as well. The ranged attack there, and yeah, we'll do the ranged attacks. Okay, so right now we're not healing though, to get rid of the wounds, but... Okay. They're just gonna shield, I like it. Perfect if they just shield now and ignore them for now. Feels so stupid to be wounded just because of that road event. I mean, we could heal up, but no. We'll wait. We'll do the next, I guess. Do you want to put the skelly? I think we'll put the skelly here. Like that idea. Then we can do the wound and everything here. Wound and stun and all that. Love this card now that it also has wound. Yeah, I liked it even before. And I think we'll focus on maybe these two. Stun, rolling modifier, and disarm. We don't need stun and disarm. And model. Okay. <laughs> Just like we talked about earlier. All these rolling modifiers. Look at that guy. He's stunned, disarmed, and model. Like it matters. All we need is stun. The rest of it doesn't matter, to be honest. But it's fun. Oh, I just killed the skeleton straight out. That was rough. And it immobilized the Mind Thief. That's annoying. For next round. Okay, let's just kill someone. I can't reach that. Okay, we'll have to kill this guy. Then. He's stunned, but it doesn't matter. And this one. Tinkerer doing it her th his thing. I don't know. Is the Tinkerer uh, I don't know if it's like gender on these creatures, but <laughs> I get so confused over that. I don't think it matters too much to be honest. Skip movement, attack of two. Oh doubler. Okay. And now the question is we could move away. Just pick up the doll. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll go here. We'll pick up the doll later. I don't want to miss an attack just to take the doll now. We're doing some quick work with these things in here. Get the skeleton out. Okay. Yeah. Love that sound. Okay. So now, maybe kill this thing with some movement and like end we need to end on the we need to end on the doll to pick it up we don't have any loot effects now here maybe heal a little bit get rid of those wounds Yeah, could double heal, could heal itself and Mind Thief, something like that. Mind Thief is gonna stay here, so. Does he have any range to go now? He has that one for range. Don't wanna burn cards, obviously, so. Oh, Rat King, is it Rat King time? Hey, Buster! You're just in time for uh, the Mind Thief leveled up to max level and got the many as one card with the Rat King. I think we could put the Rat King out here, because the thing is. It doesn't matter if it lags behind in this scenario, because there's going to be more vermin spawning behind us. So then, you know, the Rat King can do his thing. Racco, we're going to get the Rat King out for the first time. It's going to be fun to see how it looks, because it's, uh, I haven't never seen it, obviously, in this. Or maybe I have. I don't know. I should have. 
gotten my max level of Mind Thief at some point in the adventure mode. I don't know. Move attack, move attack. Shaman is gonna bless itself. That's annoying. Oh, skeleton. Nice. Good job. Okay, so the plan here is to move to and attack this little thing with a rolling target modifier. It didn't matter. And then move to the pick up the doll here. So then we know that. Okay, now we know that the brute has the doll. It is annoying. I, I talked about this yesterday. It's so annoying that you can't see who has the doll. Which is so weird. That's like total miss in the design, I think. Yeah, Anders has released the Rat King. Here he comes. Are you ready, guys? Are you ready, Draco? Okay, Draco. Draco's excited. Draco needs to. Look at this, Draco. Oh, he can't go up there because there's a skelly there. Oh, well. We'll put him here. He's huge. And disgusting, but Draco likes him. Okay. So, let's pick up that one it's good to have that range card and a range attack we can't move so we can just range attack i love having some range oh nice i love having some range uh, cards in our decks even like the mind Th mind thief is like a melee character right but get rid of that wound there oh that's kind of a tinkerous job but ah uh, forgot about that tinker was supposed to do that Okay, well, he can. He can do that to the brute, I guess. So then nobody's wounded. I don't think we're gonna get wounded in this dungeon either, so it was just a road event that made it. There we go, full heal, heal on everyone, almost. Uh, two damage, okay. Shaman is gonna bless himself. That's that's annoying because you know it's just like the curse uh, that even if we kill these shamans, it's not like they are blessed. You know the whole monster modifier deck is blessed now. So they have two doublers in there. Okay, so now we have the doll. We need to go in here and press the button. I was planning to do the to have the mind thief do that, right? Because he can run and jump and so on. He can get out of there also. So, I know there's some other enemies in there from yesterday. So, I mean, he can move eight spaces with move five and move three. That's why Scurry is so good there as well. Uh, okay, so then I think Brute needs to fight these and start moving in that direction, right? That's pretty good, I guess. I mean, it's only an attack of three. They have all these stupid shields, but... Gonna have to try and just hope we get like a plus three or a doubler or something. Uh, what is Tinkerer doing? I think moving up a little bit here. And it's good if he goes early. Oh, flamethrower. Wounding these guys would be good. Yeah, that would be really good. But then he needs to be there, I think. So he needs to move three spaces in order to get in. Again, I wish he had the uh, jump. Well, he can't jump over difficult terrain anyway. Uh, he needs one, two, three. Or one, two, three. It doesn't matter. So we need move. We need movement, which works. Okay, so let's do flamethrower. It's a one-time use, but I mean, against these guys with so much. They have low health and a lot of armor. Then wound is such a good effect, right? Here go. Here comes Rat King. Oh, he missed. Ah, that was bad. He had a five attack there because he's. Yeah, it's five attack. <laughs> um. Okay, let's let's do this. So we're gonna go in here. Bunch of wormlings. Even more wormlings now because of the. Okay, we'll go up there skip movement and then he's gonna jump that's gonna put two traps here as well right if I remember correctly yeah just two traps and here comes oh there's two 
two stone golems now because we have three characters. Yeah, so it did scale a lot here. Wow. And here, here's all the backup. There's so many enemies on screen right now. Uh, it's insane how many enemies there are on screen right now. But all we need to do to win, from what I understand, I never, I don't even know, but is to get the brute to the well here. Get him in the spot. That, I think that's all we need to do. So don't need to kill everything. Uh, even though it is, of course, a would be a pro. What is these guys already act? No, what are they gonna do? What are you? You're verming shamans. Move attack three, range four. Yeah, let's stun these guys. Okay. Uh, we can force someone to... Oh, that's sad that we're too far away. I, we could have forced this guy to go into the... Range 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, we can't reach him. Ah, I didn't think about that. That would have been sweet to make him go into the trap. Now, of course, Mind Thief can jump out of here. So it's not a problem, but... We can make this guy go into the trap. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So let's do that I think because he is gonna be a problem then he can go up there there's more traps on the way so maybe we can push and so on oh he's okay he took a damage from himself as well Yeah, the amount of enemies in here, I I don't know how this is going to turn out. This might be problematic, we'll see. A lot of small hits, but... Oh no, oh well, a doubler of one. I mean, they add up, so... No damage. Okay, no damage. It seems they're all doing small, small attacks here. Oh no, they did damage to the Rat King. That's not good, because now he's only doing four damage. We should actually heal him. We could heal the Rat King and try to keep him alive for a while, and that would give him more damage as well. So the Tinkerer could, not right now, but like next round maybe heal the Rat King. Okay, well, things have shifted around, so now I think we'll do Flamethrower in another orientation. Because now these three are, like, standing in. It would be nice to wound all three of these, but I don't know, how would that... That's not going to work. Tinkerer would need to stand on this obstacle to do it, but that she can't do that, or he. I don't know. Uh, so instead... Dead. Okay, let's get two of them. That's fine as well. That is okay. Because the wound there will will take care of them over time. So then we can just let them... They only have two health left. So we can just ignore them, I guess. And they will kill themselves over time. Unless they can heal themselves. Maybe the shaman can heal. That would be annoying. Oh, wow. Look at how much damage the Mind Thief took in that round. Oh, so much, so many enemies. Uh, trample, maybe? Remember, Trample is enhanced as well. Or enchanted. So, it's five spaces. With the boots, it's seven spaces. We can... Include a lot of people in that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's good. And then Brute is all the way up here. All of these are stunned. Yeah, I like that idea. And we could even kill the thing there because it's going to be stunned. So, yeah, that sounds good. I think we need some heals here. We need some heals. So, like, heal three. 
and move, I guess. Okay, Mind Thief needs to get out of here. Um, doesn't have the boots, so we need to move with this for, for jump. So that's one, two, three, four. Yeah, so he can get out of there with a the jump. I want him to go early as well to get out of there before they start attacking, right? Because then the traps will be in the way. So in order for them to get to the Mind Thief, they will go into the traps by themselves. So, so then uh, that will work. Okay, they're getting their massive... But that doesn't matter for my plan. Doesn't matter. I mean, oh no, it healed himself. Got rid of the wound. Rat King, do your thing. Six damage, whatever. Five damage. Okay. So, let's move in such a way that we poison some two of them as, on the way as also. It's also a good effect. They are poisoned. We can heal. And then we can range attack two. Two targets. I think I want to go for this one. And maybe that one. They have a lot of armor, that's the problem. Oh, model is good. Plus one. Muddle again. And okay. The muddle as well. Yeah, so the muddle say okay, disarm the brute. Oh yeah, okay, okay. It had a ranged attack with disarm. Okay, that's annoying. So mine thief. So now Drew Dru oh now it God is blessed. Oh look, the helm helm worked for the tinkerers. They were gonna, they got a bless, a doubler, but instead it became a plus zero because the uh, tinkerer has her helm or his helm. I, I don't know what to call that thing. Wow, this is so annoying. So the brute can't. Well, brute can't. He can trample, but he can't attack. And the Mind Thief is going to be disarmed next round. Yeah, it's almost like we, you know, it's almost like we can't keep fighting here. We need to just move the Brute up there and get him in position, right? I think we, that's what we need to do. Are we doing an Ink Bomb, maybe? It's a strong attack, but they have so much armor as well, that's annoying. No, we need to we need to heal here, not to so we don't lose the tinkerer. I think we'll move up here as well, so we're gonna have to like pull all the enemies up here, like just move on. Was the skeleton disarmed or something? Why didn't he hit the I don't know why the skeleton didn't hit the thing, the shaman. They just skipped the skeleton's turn. I don't know. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, so I'm. This is weird. But let's do. This is not an attack, I think. So let's let's do the trample. Anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need the boots to include all of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we couldn't even stun them because we couldn't do an attack right. Yeah, 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 okay. So now we can't do this because... Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, well, the Brute got closer. Anyway, he still has his healing pot. He has 22 life. He should be able to get in there. If everyone else just keeps soaking up attacks and so on. And most of the enemies are behind him now, so... What? No, they're killing the Rat King. No! Oh, well. Again, he did his job. He soaked up, you know, attacks, which is what he's supposed to do. But, yeah, Draco looks sad. Yeah, it is sad, Draco. Uh, do we have a jump here? That would be helpful. Jump with four. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so short rest, and we need leap. Oh, that's good as well. But we need leaping cleave here. We could also one, two, three, four, 
What do we do more? We could do Juggernaut and Leaping Cleave to really get close to the door. Uh, wow, it's even hard to see the Tinkerer now. There's so much stuff over <laughs> The Tinkerer, I think we need to burn some cards maybe. Just do whatever, like the strongest things we can do right now. Like Immobilize here is pretty good. Immobilize these so they can't go after the Brute. Oh, we could have done this, I guess, so Brute could have gotten all his discarded cards back, but now he already rested. Yeah. Okay, so instead, let's... Instead, let's muddle all the Jesus. Yeah, muddle the stone guy, then I guess it's a free, like, it doesn't burn the card. Poor Mind Thief is in over here, and he is disarmed, so... I can stun someone, I guess. So he's doing something at least. Stone Golem is gonna retaliate three, range three, okay. But it's good that they don't attack, I guess. Because we're not gonna attack them, so they can just stand there retaliating as much as they like. Um, okay, so let's. What are they gonna do? They're gonna move attack. Yeah, let's stun one of the, them then. And we get the Mind Thief a little bit closer to the other guys. And sadly he can't attack. So he's just gonna get swamped here with all the attacks. But Okay, here we're going to... We need it in that orientation, right? Yeah, we're gonna immobilize these so they can't go anywhere. I don't know how much that matters, but I like the idea also of getting doing these things, burning cards with the Tinkerer, just to get more XP here uh, early on. That little thing is gonna attack, so... Oh, it has to muddle first and then move, okay. That's fine. Gonna accompany the brute to the end here, and the mind thief is just gonna get, you know. Now the skeleton attacked at least. All right, let's jump out of here. And I don't. Are we opening the door? We have to open the door. That's the thing, because otherwise these. Living spirits that are blocking the well, they're not gonna move anywhere. We need them to We need to like, you know, get them to come closer, and then we need to jump again into one of those spaces, survive to the end of the next round and win. That I hope that's how we win. I hope we win by just having the doll up there. We're supposed to do that. I mean bring the doll to the well, that's what it says, right? Uh, so it should be enough. We shouldn't have to have everyone up there or anything like that. I mean normally in some scenarios these exit tiles Then everyone has to be on them But then the scenario also tells you that that's the winning condition right and now it just tells us to bring the doll So we should be fine now. He walks into the trap, which is so beautiful. I love when that happens That's funny. He just walked into it and died It's like AI, right? Uh, why did you die? Oh, he was wounded. Okay. Okay. Nice. Ah, oh, poor Mind Thief. Let's see if he can... Oh, well, the Skeleton took a hit, at least. Five damage, yeah. And now... T oh, miss! That's good. Okay, we need to burn Mind's Weakness. He does have a bunch of cards to burn, but he needs to rest first so he doesn't have to burn two discarded cards. That's the thing. Which is gonna happen right now. That's no good. He needs that to jump. He needs to get out of here, really. So we burn some cards that doesn't really help him. He needs jump. Just move and jump. Just make them clog up here in the tunnel, really. Oh, maybe we win this scenario. Well, maybe we win right now. Well, no, I don't know. We're gonna short rest. Gonna redraw because we need that jump card, his only jump card. We're gonna go early. Disarm. Well, 
doesn't really matter, I guess. He still needs to survive to the end of the round, I think. But he has 21 health, and, you know, I don't want to jinx it, but we should be fine. Maybe move... We can heal even more, I guess. You know what? We're gonna do this. We're gonna do those two. Go early. Uh, short rest. Okay. Um, not great, but we need this one most of all. We'll do that and that, so he can just try to get out of there. So we're going really early here. So move with jumps, so we can get over here. And then we kill a normal enemy. So he can't go up and mess with the brute or whatever. Had a doubler there, okay. Mind Thief is really helping out. Okay, now we jump in. Let's go to the one that is furthest away here. Wait, before we do that, we are gonna disarm the elite guy. Yeah. Disarm him. We missed, but he's still disarmed, so. Then we jump to this space. This is an exit tile. It should be good to drop the doll in there. And his turn. Tinkerer is gonna move and just get an XP and also put itself so that the. This is my plan. I didn't see the trap there. Uh, the plan is to have the Tinkerer here so that these guys will attack the Tinkerer instead of the Brute so we don't risk the Brute getting. I mean, they won't kill him, but you know. Tinker is gonna take take it for the team, right? Here comes all this enemy. I mean, if this scenario had been kill everything, that I don't know if we could do that. I don't think we could with these characters. Like, well, then we wouldn't go opening the doors and everything. We would kill everything before we open next door, I guess. Okay, just a lot of running right now. You can fast forward if you want to, but I want to see what's happening. What are you screaming about? Oh, they're healing themselves. Okay. Or are they healing someone else? Okay. okay. Stone golem here. Gonna have to burn a card. Doesn't matter if, if Mind Thief gets exhausted, I guess, but I just you know, want to keep everyone alive if possible. Burn a card. That's no problem. Oh, he got stunned. Oh, they both got stunned. Well, we made it. Cast the doll yes. into the well and return to the man who thanks you with coin. Okay, I'm happy about that. I mean, you have to play these scenarios so differently depending on what the goal is. Like, you have to think in different ways. Like, here, it's all about, like, oh, hey, I'm over here soaking up damage so someone else can run away. Like, it's so cool. And uh, we actually managed to gain seven or fewer experience points with uh, Brute because we didn't really do much. We just run. Uh, we're just running. And so we got two perk points. That's awesome. I think that means he gets a new perk. I think he already had a perk point. So that's fun. See what that is. I think we also got the level up now on Brute and the... Well, we didn't get that many XP, I guess. I mean, we might get some XP as a reward for completing the mission. We'll see. Might have some leveling up to do. Which is fun. Let's see if... Did we only get gold? A few days later, you hear that the daughter succumbed to her disease. <sighs> And you are glad you didn't throw anything of value down the well yourself. That's terrible. It didn't work. We did all that for nothing, right? Some legends can't be trusted. So what do we get? We get 15 gold each. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. 10 XP. It's 45 gold in total. Nice. So we did level up both of these. Yeah. And I think we got an extra. Yeah, we got an extra. Uh, yeah, we got an extra. So we have an available perk even if, before we level up. So we can do that first. 
And I don't remember what we talked about with the brute here before. Okay, see you, Buster. I don't know what we talked about with the brute. I mean, he doesn't have that many options now. We can add plus one cards. I'm not that excited about that, though. He already have a bunch, so... Um... Yeah, we have 21 gold. Yeah, we have enough gold for both of these, right? No, we need 21 for, for the Mind Thief. <laughs> 20. But we can solve that because the Mind Thief has... Okay, let's do that first before I forget it. The Mind Thief has extra boots that we're never using. These boots are striding. We're never going to equip them. We want, I want the winged shoes. He already has a bunch of good movement stuff. So let's sell these for 10. So then he's up to enough to buy... A, a fifth small item uh, with 30 gold. I think it's would. I think stun powder is the one I want here. It's just one time use, but in the right situation, it's sweet to be able to control the stun someone, right? So we have stun, we have the summon, we have the healing, we have the stamina. A, little, a lot of good stuff here. And for fiddly. Uh, it was the same thing, right? Basically the winged boots we wanted to have here, so we'll buy those and equip. This is also gonna be sweet. These small guys, the Mind Thief and the Tinker, I like having them, like, they have a lot of movement. I like have, being able to just jump around with them. And I don't think the Brute needs to get anything, though. We're waiting for this. This is level 9. Then we're gonna add something here. Whatever that is. Maybe stamina. He doesn't have a stamina pot. Might add stamina there, I guess. Um, are we going to do city encounter before we level up? Just to see what we get. Yeah. Well, we probably don't get anything. You're out in the world of scales when you see a crowd of people forming to the south. Growing louder and more dense by the second. As you approach, you see through the angry mob a terrified wormling being pulled in your direction by a group of gruff men. Dirty thief, a woman next to you screams. String it up. Glancing behind you to where the crowd appears to be headed, you see a disused gibbet in the market square. So there's some kind of execution tool. I don't remember. What, what is a gibbet? The men, clearly not guards, move closer. Okay, it's like a mob. We can stop the crowd. Oh, yeah, it's uh, okay, where you hang people. Stop the crowd from hanging the vermling, or we can take no action and see this through to its logical conclusion. Okay, so if I'm going to guess here, if we try to stop it, we might get like good reputation, right? Because we helped someone. If we ca don't care about it, we probably get bad reputation. And we are playing the evil route here. So it's brutal, but we're just going to let it happen. Nothing happens, okay. You watch as the man move past you toward the gibbet. One carries a thick rope that he ties around the wormling's neck. The other one, the other end of the rope is thrown over the crossbeam, and then the man begin pulling, hoisting the helpless thief up off his feet, he struggles in vain, a panic looked in his eyes, but eventually he stops moving. The men tie off the rope, rope, leaving the lifeless thief hanging. People begin to mill about, men is stopping to spit on the ground before returning to work. Yeah, they were really upset with that poor little vermling, okay. Oh well, we just smashed a bunch of vermlings, I, I don't think we should be too, too moralic about it. So uh, let's level up the brute, that's fun. Level 8. Oh, this is insanely good. Okay, so, so Frenzied Onslaught. It's move to, attack to, move to, attack to. That is so good. And then at the bottom, add plus three attack to all your attacks targeting, targeting enemies with disarm, immobilize, or stun this round. So this is, you know, the Tinkerer. The Tinkerer comes in here because the Tinkerer can, like, immobilize and so on. I mean, the, the, everyone can, st they can stun, the Tinker can stun and immobilize, the Mind Thief can stun even more now with the stun powder, the, the Brute can stun people and disarm them. I mean, this is a nice card here. Like, the top part is amazingly good, I think, for uh, move, you know, movability, but the bottom part is also good, and it, not, it doesn't burn the card. Yeah, let's look at the other one. Selfish Retribution. Move 1, loot 2. It's kind of good in the way, I guess, that it's move on the top and then you just keep looting. But it's a no, it's a one time, it's a burn card. Move 3, Retaliate 2 would be nice as well, I guess. But no, there's, this is no... There's no debate here. This one, I mean, the moving twice on the top. So you know what we can do with this? We can first, we can use Quatus 
to on the bottom to move three add plus one to all of your attacks this round that's then we move three spaces then we do frenzied onslaught we move two more so we move five spaces in total which means his helm will trigger so he will get plus one and he gets plus one from quatus so then the attack will be an attack of four then he will move two again and then do another attack of four <laughs> so he can do two four attacks and he can move seven spaces using these two cards together in one round that's just amazing i mean i like the juggernaut right this is like an upgrade to the juggernaut we might skip the juggernaut then we might have too much of the same effect the thing is with the juggernaut that the bottom part is good but i don't use it that often i mean it's, it is good to have the next three sources of damage coming to you suffer no damage it's good if he ends up in a situation where there's a lot of enemies around him and they're strong and so on the thing is though he has like 24 or something health now um can we see that by the way he has 24 health so he's and he has a major healing pot on him we can heal with the tinkerer yeah, I mean, or we go for having two cards in the deck that has move on the top. That's not bad either. What What is there? I mean, I've been talking about removing Provoking Roar. Because that attack to disarm is so... It's so weak. It's a weak attack now to attack two. And I have so many other stun effects and so on. The bottom part we never use. So yeah, I, okay, let's do that. Let's remove Provoking Roar. Get Frenzied Onslaught. And then we'll keep in mind that for the next time he levels up, the final time, that might be the time when we remove Juggernaut for something else good that he will get, right? But I mean, right now, look at his movability now. You know, moving here with Trample. Move four there with a jump. Juggernaut, move on top. Move four with that one. If he moves in a straight line, we'll do also get to do an attack. Here we have the move that we don't really use. Move four stun, I guess. Uh, whirlwind move four push three here we have attack move two and then attack so he can move on the top and here he can move three and add plus one to all of his attacks and then he can move with this on top twice yeah i mean the brute is it's silly how strong they become all right thanks mur yeah it's silly how they become so strong these characters you know the power creep or whatever it's called it's it's so fun it's so fun to get them up to the max level here then uh, perk time, so he has two perks available, because one from the battle goals, one from the leveling up. So I don't think this is a big debate here. Kind of like this one in a sense, like add one shield one. That's an effect that he doesn't have right now. But you know me, I like rolling modifiers. So this one here, adding another target, there's a lot of times that could be handy. This one here to push. It's not as good, I think, but he doesn't have that many push effects in his deck right now. And it's three cards. We're getting that. I mean, that's three push cards. And rolling, so, you know. So right now we have, what is it, three, five, seven, eight, nine, eleven rolling cards. It's almost half the deck again, right? Yeah. So good. Okay, and we're not even down with him, you know, we can get to level 9. Now, as, as, anytime we want, we can retire the Brute, because I know where the Spitting Drakes is, we can go kill one. But I kind of don't want to do it before he gets, you know, I want him to be able to max out, you know, max out level. And, and I'm thinking this weekend we we'll probably retire the Brute and get some other fun thing in there. Um, let's level up the Tinker as well, so this is only level 3 now. And now we are at level 4 for the scenarios, by the way. Oh, uh, this is nice. Disarm an adjacent trap. Get an XP. I kind of like that effect, just having it in there. The, op the opportunity to disarm. The bottom part create a stun trap. Oh, I like that as well. Situational, but I mean, in some situations, I like that effect. So that's, that's an interesting one. What's the other one? It's Crankbow. Attack 6, range 5, that's a good attack, but it is burning the card. And the bottom is move 4. 
if you know Tinkerer better than I do, what do you think, guys and girls in the chat? I only played Tinkerer through one, like, adventurer mode campaign, or, like, adventurer mode playthrough. So, and that was, that must be, like, two, two years ago or whatever, when the game, the early access came out, so... I'm not a pro with this one. Uh, I kind of like that one as well. That we, you know, we we didn't pick on level 2. Heal 4, range 3. and doesn't burn a card. And the bottom is one ally within range 3 may recover one of the burned cards. Oh, okay. I, okay. Never mind. This is the one we need. How did I miss this one? That is an amazing effect. This card has the stamina booster here on the bottom. It, it shows a double burn thing. So if you burn, this card will burn, then you can't recover it with some other effect. If other, but we need this one. I mean, heal four with a range three without burning the card. That's really good. After all, that's, you know, the Tinker's job is to be support. And the bottom there, one ally with range three just recover a burnt card. So we could like trample twice. We could. I'm just going to take it. Um... <laughs> Uh, there it is. So we need to get that in. So we need to get rid of something. And this is kind of hard since I'm not really in tune with whatever everything that is in here. I like this one because it's like the only attack range 3 without any burning. And like that one for move and healing everyone is next to. Healing right at top. Move 4 is good. Net shooter was pretty cool I guess. That's pretty cool. Flamethrower, I really like. Okay, let's get rid of the decoy thing. I don't think we're gonna do that, really. Okay, so stamina booster is in the deck now. So what could we use this for? I gotta think this through. Burned Karch. Okay, so I mean, Trample is the obvious one. I think that's what we are gonna use it for. But I mean, Trample twice is not as good as it sounds, because the second time he won't have his hammer. It's good anyway, I guess. What else is it we burn that are really good? We don't, you know, we kind of avoid. I mean, Whirlwind, maybe do a double Whirlwind. I mean, it wouldn't be bad to do Whirlwind and get it back and then be able to use it to move and push. Um, yeah. I think for Brute, it's Trample and Whirlwind. What is it for Mind Thief? What do we burn here? That's good. I don't think we burn that much, to be honest. I mean, maybe the top here, but... But I guess just having that means that we could be... We could be more, like, uh, open-minded about, like, oh, wow, the Cranium Overload. There we have it. Yeah, that's the one. This is where the Mind Thief really shines, right? With this card so we can kill a normal enemy and then we can do it again yeah i like that yeah that's, yeah you, yeah slow mo yeah this is would be really nice and depending on the situation if it's a situation we feel like okay in this situation i rather have another trample then we can do that but i think most of the time we're going to go for cranium overload the one time we get to do that with with the uh, tinker i'm really happy that we brought in the tinker such a cool character. And we haven't even, you know, gotten to use learn it that well yet. There's, there's a lot of stuff coming. It's only level 3. It's going to get a new card and everything. Uh, we do have perks here as well. We have uh, one perk. And I think we'll do consistency then. Talked about it recently here. So just, you know, now it only has 3 negative cards out of... What is that? That's 11, 12, 13. Out of 16. So 3 out of 16 are negative. That's cool. And then we'll start adding like plus three and we start adding good stuff in here like some rolling stuff and whatnot and i like that uh no 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 uh scenario negative scenario effects i like that <laughs> slow-mo i think you love the overload card right you always remind me of it <laughs> okay so yeah uh three and a half hours streaming i wasn't planning to stream that long today but this game is you know it is what it is i and now i don't want to give up so i think we'll do one more scenario before i need to get dinner so i guess we now we don't have that much to choose we have the one in the city 
in Bandit Sewers. We have the one, the side quest here. Uh, we're not going to go into the rift. We're going to close the rift. We're not going to help the dragon yet. And we're not going to kill the dragon. So uh, we'll do. We'll we'll go for this ruinous, ruinous uh, rift. Press R. Oh, maybe Claus is behind or something. I don't know. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's do this rift and. I think this is a scenario, I mean if we fail this I might go back and look at different cards because if this is a scenario where we're just going to stand in a place and just fight and defend uh, Hail, then we don't need to have so many movement cards, we could have some other stuff, but I don't want to start messing with that before we try it out and see, maybe we complete it first time anyway. Let's see what the, uh, hope we get a decent road event. You're walking down the road when the sound of many wings pulls your gaze to the sky. Above you, you see a large flock of red birds flying southwards. At that height, you figure a well-aimed arrow could bring one of them down to make a nice meal. We had this one before. I think some of these uh, are one time, and some of them will recycle sort of in the deck. And I know that there's... I don't know how... I don't remember how, but I know that this... Like, when you get the... When you open Gloomhaven, the board game, you have some event cards, city events and road events, that are not in the deck to start with, and then they will add it as you go. I don't remember what triggers that though, but uh, I, I mean, I remember when we did this the other day. We 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 chose to shoot shoot at the birds, and we I think we got blessed. But I don't know if we're gonna get the same result this time. That's the thing. Let, let's shoot at the birds, I guess. No, this time it was bad. Okay, okay. You pull back your bow and take aim. Yeah, so it's different outcomes, I guess. The instant you lose the arrow, you notice something odd about the birds. They are much far further away than you realize. They're much bigger. The arrow misses, but it gets their attention. As the flock turns and descends towards you, you realize you just shot at a group of drakes. You run for cover among the trees, but are hit by their acid spit a number of times in the process. So we got muddled, and we start each ne next scenario suffering two damage. That was a really bad effect. Really bad effect. I don't, I mean, yeah. It doesn't matter too much for like the brute because he has like 24 health, so 2 health. But for the tinkerer. The crypt, Hale seems almost happy as she trudges through the mud with you, eager to help fight back demons and undead. It's been so long since I've been outside of Gloomhaven, she says, swaying the elemental sensor back and forth as she walks. The city is necessary for my studies. But it feels good to take a small break and travel this plane again. And with so much less danger this time as well. You look at the Aether questioningly. Sure, cultists and demons aren't exactly friendly encounters. But last time I traveled these lands, well, that's something I swore I would never speak of. Hale grows silent until you arrive at the crypt. Opening the ancient doors, you half expect the place to be teeming with cultists and demons once again. But the stone halls are as silent and barren as death. You move towards the main chamber where you find the giant rift, hovering above a demonic altar. Well, you certainly weren't kidding, Hale says. This thing is a beauty. The girth and stability, quite impressive. Hale walks around the perimeter of the altar throwing sand in the air and watching it fall. I'm pretty sure I can close it, thanks to old Stonebreaker's sensor here. I can't imagine the forces on the other side of this rift are going to be all too happy about it, though. Hale raises the sensor above her head with one arm and plunges the other elbow deep into the rift. Gather round, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be one killer party. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Brute, have three or fewer cards in your hand and discard at the end of the scenario. That might happen. Kill an elite monster will probably happen, though, more likely. Uh, kill three or fewer monsters. No, I don't think that. Reveal a room by opening a door. I don't know if there's going to be doors in here. But it's more likely than that he's going to kill. Yeah, I don't know how many. You know, it's hidden here. I don't know how much. Um, loot five or more gold piles, or have one or more monsters. This one again, the aggressor. This is probably gonna happen, right? I'm not gonna focus too much on battle goals this time around. I 
I don't know. It depends on like if it's feel like we're in control and everything, then we can do that. But okay, that sound. So okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's no movement. <laughs> we're just gonna be in this room the whole thing. There's no doors. Yeah, this is a, like a defense mission, right? So that's fun. It's fun to get these like different closed door. I guess that's where yeah, that's where we came from. Okay, so here's the altar. She's gonna stand here, do something. We have to protect her for ten rounds. And I guess this is gonna fail right away, right? Because there's no monsters present at the beginning of this round. I don't know. I assume so. So what are we doing first round then? We don't really have anything to do it's more like just prepare they are gonna show up i don't know where they're gonna show up we don't see that we don't see any spawners or anything that would have been helpful otherwise but so i don't know is there anything we don't really have anything that we like do in our downtime like any buff or anything i know i mean we're gonna get the rat king out but I don't think the tinker... Well, the tinker can put a trap. Yeah, that's something they can do, right? That's good. Have them put a trap out while we wait, sort of. Let's discard that. And, of course, the mine thief can put the skeleton out. Yeah, it's perfect for the... For the little guy here. Like, it's not that little, but, you know. I don't think he has anything. We'll just save a bunch of these good cards. We can just do that and yeah. We'll just save a bunch of good cards really. Oh, I love this new card, friends it onslaught. Um Wow, I have no idea what the brute is gonna do. It's just gonna stand around. I almost don't wanna do anything with him, I wanna like I don't want to burn card. Like I don't want to use card, but I don't need to. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Just... All right. Weird round. It's weird that I guess thematically it, it, it makes sense. You know, there's no one here yet. It's good they're gonna show up, but it feels weird that we have a round where we don't do anything. Uh, here comes the Rat King though, and nothing. Do we want to move? No, I'd rather just stay close to her, right? It's good also because then we are sort of targets instead of her for enemy attacks and so on. So two summons, and here comes the third summon. So this this side is going to be covered with our friends, and I guess the brute can move over here, so he's on this side. We spread out a little bit. And everyone's muddled as well, which didn't matter then. We started muddled, but nothing happens first round, so we just remove the muddle. Now we all started with two damage, so I guess we'll Oh wait, we wanted to do the mine, right? Oh yeah, I didn't think about that. We could have done some healing. I don't know where they're gonna show up. But I assume they will come from the side somehow, so let's put the mine, the trap right there. So, you know, we have friendlies over here and we have a trap on that side. I feel like we we defend good here so far. Here they come. Night demon. Oh, they just... Okay, now we see a spawner. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe there was a spawner over there that I didn't see. So here we have next round a wind demon elite will show up. That's pretty nasty. There's pro probably just going to be demons here because it's like a rift right that they come through. Um, yeah, so okay, we see the spot. So next, okay, so it's only one guy as well. Next round, we get a Wind Demon Elite. Right now, we have a Night Demon. That's not too much to worry about. It's weird that we don't have our 10 card anymore. Remove that. Um, so maybe, maybe this and the new card can do the new card here and a 
don't want to burn cards here if I don't have to, so... Mm. I can just do some healing, like healing, because we everyone started with two less health, so I can do some healing, I guess. I almost feel like Mind Thief can just hang out over here. I want Mind Thief to hang out next to the Tinkerer because, well, like we didn't rearrange three of the Tinkerer, so that at some point the Tinkerer can do. Uh, where's the card? Oh, it's this one. At some point they will do the Tinkerer can do their bottom thing. We need range three of the Mind Thief. Range is not going to be an issue here either. And then the Mind Thief can get back the um, Overload. That's the plan, right? So at some one point here we can just straight out kill one uh, normal enemy. And then Mind Thief can get it back. You know, yeah. That's gonna be sweet. Right now though, I don't know if Mind Thief needs to do that much. I, think, I don't think this guy's gonna... Well, we know someone is coming there, so... I guess we'll keep the Mind Thief sort of close to that. Yeah. Oh, he moves quickly. Four. Wow. It's really quick. Oh, here comes the Rat King as well. All the skeletons. <laughs> Everyone's rushing over there to get a chance to attack the thing. Um, let's just move there so we're in the way of the spawner. And range attack. And we have that stun powder now as well, so once we... once one time we can stun and we're not gonna attack can do the stamina pot why not pick up dark frenzy again and that's the mind thief tinkerer will move oh now the rat is in the way okay move over there because that will heal a oh, look at this healing everyone that would heal the Mind Thief, that was a little bit dam damaged there. Uh, I can use the Stamina Pot to get that card back. That's a heal, range heal. I mean, this looks like, even if this, it starts flooding here with a lot of enemies, I mean, we have a healer with ranged heal in the middle, we have some allies to soak up damage. It's looking good, let's heal the Brute as well. Okay, so Brute is the one who gets the honors of attacking the thing. And now he does get disadvantage no matter what, so it doesn't matter if we do a ranged attack next to it. Oh, we got the... We got the... What's that again? I'm confused now. What's that modifier with the little arrow? It's... Is that the... Push? No, then we would have gotten to push him. I'm confused. <laughs> What's that modifier? The tech modifier with the... Uh... Isn't that the one we just added? Yeah, it is push. I don't know why we didn't get to push him though. I don't know. Oh well. That's... Uh, okay, this is funny. Look at this, so we're gonna move two and attack for two. And then we're gonna move two again, back to where we started. Because now he moved four spaces, right? So that, does that work? I think so. No, yeah, no, he puts it on like after the whole action, I guess, okay. We could make this guy go into the trap and just die, but might want to save the trap for... I mean, this is not a problem, so... Okay, here comes the Wind Demon Elite. That's pretty nasty. But it only has two shields. I thought it would have more. But that's the Living Spirit Elite, I guess. It has... Oh, it has Attack Supply Disarm. That's annoying. Okay, well, Brute, you need to kill this. This 
demon right here. Um, doesn't really have anything good. We can do that on the bottom then, I guess. Trample on the top, okay. I think this is worth some strong attacks on this here to get rid of that. Ah, we can stun it as well. That's nice. Uh, it's an elite, so we can't do that. We can, I guess we. Oh, we can. So we can do wound and stun. Yeah, we have so many options in here. What to do? Uh, crazy. Um. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wind him, and it's gonna. Oh, that's. Look at that. Look at that attack, though. If it if it if it gets to act, it will attack. It will disarm, and it will. It doesn't have wind, but it will attack like three of us. Like we're all standing clumped up, so we're like main target for AOE. Oh, Rat King! Rat King doing his thing. He just went and he just smashed the Night Demon just like that. <laughs> so all of a sudden, Brute has nothing to do now. <laughs> oh, this is weird. Uh, it's weird. I thought this would be. Harder. Well, I shouldn't say too much. You know, we haven't seen the whole thing yet. Uh, let's stun this one here. With muddle. Plus one, plus two. Uh, yeah. Okay, Tinkerer. Strong at. Oh, it's okay, you need more range for that. I didn't see that. Okay, well, in that case, let's not waste that then. Let's go. Do this and poison as well, so it has all the negative effects at once. Look at that. Stunned and wounded, and here comes the skeleton. Okay, brute, so I guess we can do a ranged attack on it. We can also pick up some gold, of course, in this scenario. Um. He needs to kill an elite as well for the battle goal. There you go. Perfect. That's done. How are we do? Well, yeah, okay. So the other, okay, here comes to the other goals. This is failed, right? Yeah, yeah. So there's no monster. To, like, this is impossible to do in this scenario. There's no monster on the first round, so. Uh, reveal a room. This is also going to fail. There's no doors to open. So the only battle goal we could do was this one, which we have done now. The brute has killed an elite. So we don't. We don't need to worry more about battle goals, but yeah. Okay, so Sun Demon Elite, that sounds nasty. It has advantage. It has a lot of health. Um, frost Demon. It's a normal Frost Demon, so you know, we're just gonna get rid of that, I think. Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna get the card back, anyway. And... I don't know what to do here. I don't think we should burn any card. I don't think we need to heal. We might need to heal later in the round, of course. So we could go really late here to Tinkerer, and this thing might hit someone, and then we need to heal. Move forward. That's just going to fly over the trap, so it's not going to... Yeah, attack five there. That's probably good. Oh, it's just gonna heal. <laughs> it heals uh, within range three, and then if it has sun in the air, then it would have or sun in the room, I should say. Then it would have targeted all allies with the, within range. Frost demon wants to attack, but we are gonna just get rid of him. And here comes Rat King, muddling, disarming, plus one. Wow. I mean, the Rat King gets to use... That's also so insane with these summons, right? Because the Rat King uses the Mind Thieves modifier deck. And that one is so trimmed, that modifier deck. That's like a 20-sided die where it's like, oh, you miss on 1, 2, 3 or whatever. Like, it's so good. Okay, I, I think this is almost overkill. 
But I mean, if he gets to do an attack, he's going to kill the skeleton. Like, I already have a skeleton around, and we can get this overload card back. So let's just do it, just because it's fun as well. There we go. It's almost like we didn't need that strong of an attack, but... Uh, summon's gonna happen there. We're gonna summon a flame demon elite there and a earth demon over there. So I'll put. I wonder what happens if we stand on the summoner. I think it just makes so it summons next to us. But we're gonna have a uh, mind thief next to it here, so he's ready to do me melee attacks uh, next turn. And here comes the sun demon healing himself. And let's see. Can we reach it? No, we can't because Rat King is in the way and we don't want to step into a trap. Huh. We can't reach the enemy. Well, let's just go here, pick up some gold and be ready for the the Earth Demon that's going to show up here. There's a weird rounds here. We just feel like we're wasting time, but I guess we could have forced it to move. I don't know. I want to keep that for the pushing someone into the trap here later on. Okay, this is gonna be a bit weird as well. We're gonna heal a skeleton. I have nothing else really to heal here, so Why not and then I want to keep the tinkerer fairly close to the mine thief so give give uh, back that card Okay, so three. Oh wow look at this guy flame demon elite He has shield four as an innate ability and he's retaliate for with range. Oh wow. This is gonna be tricky to kill. We need to get through four. We need to do more than four damage every time we hit it. And we're gonna get hit back for four. Wow, okay. So now it's starting to ramp up. Uh, I like it though. Earth Demon. Nothing special about him. Just 15 health. And then we're gonna get a Night Demon over there. And a Wind Demon Elite there. Yeah, so it's starting to ramp up for sure. We're at 4 out of 10 here, so we're almost halfway. Okay, okay. Well, I think Brute just fights this one here. And I think maybe Tinker. Oh, can you stun this guy? Yeah, you can. If we can, I would like to stun him because he's probably going to do really nasty attacks, right? Probably is also he's going to retaliate, so these skeletons are going to go hit him, and then they're going to die from retaliation. Huh? Wound him wouldn't be bad because that wound doesn't care about armor, and he only has five health. But we can stun him, I guess. I think that is. Yeah, that has to be priority. Can we... Uh, you also need to take care of this thing here. It's flying. So he's going to be stunned. So we can wait. We can ignore him for a little while here. So tricky. Like, I don't want to attack him just, you know, just with like a one or whatever. Because we're going to take... What was it? Four back. I mean, Rat is going to keep hitting this, but I think range there is good. We just use this to move. How much range do we have? We range four. And we're one away. But if we go later, then Tinker can get out of the way. Yeah, Sun Demon will just keep healing people. So Flame Demon wanted to attack four adjacent, all adjacent enemies. If there's frost in the air, he will suffer damage. So that's going to happen. There is frost in the air. Oh, that's a way to kill it. Just keep having frost in the air all the time, which Mind Thief can do, sort of. And no, no, if Mind Thieves move away, then nobody's adjacent. So then we don't really care about it, I guess. But the plan is to stun it, but... Maybe stun this instead, because otherwise it's going to heal itself. Yeah, you know what? 
what is this gonna do? It's gonna move attack. I mean, this is gonna burn the card if we stun. Maybe keep the card instead then. Yeah, I think I'd rather keep the card. Just move out of the way so that Mind Thief can go there, so that he's not next to the Tinkerer didn't really do anything then, but yeah. I mean, look at this. The skeletons are just killing themselves on that. That's sad. I like having them around, but okay. Attack there. We have nothing to heal, so instead let's... I don't want him to attack the rats, so I don't want to move too far away. I don't need to move really at all. I can't I have nothing to heal, so yeah. Rat King! Rolling modifier and doubler! There you go! <laughs> Rat King did eleven damage. <laughs> that's that's insane. Rat King did eleven damage. Good job. Good job. Okay, so we could stun this if we wanted to using this, I guess. But then we use up the no, then we use up the frost. I want the frost to be in the room so it will take a damage. That's that's worth more. So let's do as I planned. Go up here, nobody's next to it now, so it's not gonna hit anyone. And range attack these two. Because I don't want to hit that thing if I can avoid it. Oh nice. Ah yeah, good. I like the oh I love this game. I mean the strategy in this like I like this kind of scenario as well. I sometimes I get a little bit tired of those like oh you have to run 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 and like like oh don't lose the cards and this is a really fun change uh, of of tempo here. So there's a night demon a normal guy. Don't worry too much about him. Here's a wind demon elite though with disarm. That is nasty. We need to stun or kill this guy because we can't have him disarm people. Um, yeah, okay. So, short rest time. Can, yeah, that's fine to get rid of. And now I'm thinking we want one of those. We're going to do this again. We did this earlier. These two, so we can get like three attacks in one round. I really want to stun this one. Could you stun it? Have to short rest no matter what. And movement and so on. Oh, we're gonna burn this. If you do your rain thing and add stun powder, that could work. We could also stun this guy as well and wound it. Yeah, yeah, we wanna wound this guy so he bleeds out. Yeah, yeah, perfect. What are you doing, Tinkerer? Flamethrower? No. Well, I guess Flamethrower would wound this, but that's a burning card. Maybe it's time, actually. Yeah, it's time to short rest. And give back the insta-kill to the mind thief. Yeah. So what do we do on the top then? Could heal. Poison is good. Could poison the wind. Wind demon. That's good. Range three. Yeah. All right. Let's see how this plays out. Oh, he acted first. Attack three ring. Okay. Put fire into the air, but. Fire element created. I keep saying air, but it's basically in the room because there's an element called air, so it gets confusing. Oh, Rat King! Rat King took down this, this elite, Sun Demon elite, all by himself. <laughs> it's not even hurt. <laughs> oh, I love him. Okay, so let's stun this guy for next round. And most important, this is going to uh, wound him. I mean, we took four damage back, but it's worth it. Because now he's wounded. 
And we can heal up here. Then let's attack these two and stun both of them with the stun powder. I didn't think about that, but that's actually a way to get the stun powder. Oh no, it didn't work. Oh no, I'm stupid. This says a single attack, so... Did nobody get stunned then? Yeah, it probably didn't work because I used a multiple target attack. It did say, I remember that now, it said to a single attack. Ah, uh, annoying. I, I just wasted it, but yeah. Okay. Uh, now, it's time for Mind Thief to recover a burned card. That's going to be Cranium Overload. Nice. And then range attack poison this one. I almost forgot about this guy as well. We have the Night Demon standing there. But... Yeah, that's basically just a poison. So can you kill... Let's see how... I have to think about this. One attack should be enough to kill this guy. Then he can move to... Not gonna reach anyone. I almost used the boots then to get him up here so he can smash that and move to... Yeah, I think we have to move, use the boots. I mean, we can long rest, I guess. Hey, man. We could long rest and... So we get the boots back. Or we can start with the... with this but the thing is this starts with an attack this starts with a move so if we only need to do one move then this is almost better but then we have to do the bottom here hmm no let's do it like I've planned it out let's do this so attack this okay so he's dead and there's gonna be I don't know, spawner. It's gonna be a frost demon there next. There's gonna be a sun demon elite, okay. Then move. But now he can't reach anyone because there's a trap there that someone placed. So um instead move with boots. It feels a bit wasteful, but we could long rest maybe at some point here. We'll see. And this guy is going to disarm, so we're not gonna let that happen. We're gonna stun him. Because I hate being disarmed. Oh, he got disarmed. By the way, <laughs> we don't even need to stun. He got disarmed by rolling modifier. So we didn't even... Oh, well, we couldn't plan on that, I guess. Then we move over here, and then we can hit this guy. That's a miss. But he got stunned? Why did he get stunned? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It counted as one entire attack action. I didn't... Oh, I didn't see that. That is amazing. So that means we can use the hammer together with Frenzied Onslaught and have stunned two different pe two different targets, two different monsters. And we can even move in between. That's like almost trampled territory right there. That's that's good. Because it's the whole action. Wow. It's annoying that these guys are flying, so we can't move them around. Oh, we can, but it doesn't matter. Uh, all right, so not much happened, you know, not much enemy activity there. Rat King is doing fine. I don't wonder, I think, I hope he goes against this next, but. So we're going to have Spawner, Flame Demon, Elite, and Earth Demon. Just got a Frost and a Sun Elite. I don't like the Sun because I think they heal. I'm really worried that they're going to heal this guy because he's wounded and we're just going to wait him out. So I want the sun demon stunned if possible. I think that's the plan. How would we do that? Mm, there. You can stun him with that attack. Okay. That's good. Um, so we're not we're gonna just let this guy bleed out because I don't want to retaliate for. Brute should take care of this Wind Demon Elite here, because he will disarm people, so that is really annoying. So, could he do... 
Yeah, I guess he could do it this way. Attack three with pull. We don't care about attack three. He has two shields, though. That's the thing. And, I mean, the Tinkerer could help here, of course. Um, don't really need to heal right now. Oh, here's a stun as well, I guess. Okay, so then he can stun. I mean, he's stunned. He's going to get stunned. He can stun this guy, maybe? Or he can stun this one, I guess. But I think this... We might die. Okay, one adjacent ally may... No, nobody has a lot of discarded cards now. We'll use that later on. Everyone could get a shield, though. That doesn't burn the card, so that's fine. That would get her a shield as well. She might get attacked by this thing, actually. Oh, wow, this is a lot of threats to keep track of now. My mind is starting to break down after four hours of streaming, so... Flame Demon Elite is this guy. He's gonna move three, then create a four damage trap in a genius name. Okay, so he's gonna create a trap. That's that's fine by me, because like we can then we can make someone else go into it later. Like it's not a we gonna go into it. Wind Demon wants to attack and disarm, of course, annoying. Sun Demon is gonna heal, which is terrible. That can't happen because then he's gonna heal this guy. And it's gonna go so early. It's only Mind Thief that goes before these. Mind Thief gonna have to choose. Who does he want to stun out of these three? I think it's obvious, the, the healer. Because if that wound goes away, that would be really bad. Frost Demon is gonna immobilize everyone within range two. That's annoying as well. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is... Getting cre oh, Rat King! Yes! Rat King did his thing again. He just smashed the Wind Demon out of there. So then we didn't have to worry about how he was going to disarm someone. And I was like, I can't stun more than one. But Rat King solved it. Ah, oh, love him. Love that little guy. Yeah, I mean, Drac was so happy over here as well. Okay, so then... Then let's do the plan here. Let's go here. And since there's frost in the room, we can stun this one so he never heals. And actually, why do we still have a stun powder? Oh, it probably didn't. Yeah, we probably didn't use it then because we couldn't because it wasn't a single attack. Oh, so we still have it. That's sweet. Then we can stun once again. Love it. Okay. Yeah, 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 then we have another stun. Oh, there you're bleeding. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna keep bleeding. Um, why didn't he make a... Oh, no, he was stunned. Yeah, yeah, so he never made a trap. That's true. I forgot about that. He was stunned. Mm. So now... Oh, yeah, so now we can stun it again. So that it doesn't heal anyone on the next round. Perfect, perfect. Here, we're gonna stun it again. Because it already acted. I'm gonna perma stun you. Stupid healer. Oh, we actually got hit for the first time in a while. Oh, 8 damage. Good thing it was a brute. Uh, he can just heal up, I guess. Okay, so now all of a sudden, what is the brute doing? Because that thing is gone because of the rat, so. Oh, I just saw something interesting. He can kill an adjacent enemy with stun. So if we had this guy stunned, we could have just killed him. But now we're going to kill this guy. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't see... I didn't think about that before. That's a really good way to get around. No, it's normal enemy. Yeah, it doesn't work. Okay, okay, okay. Then it doesn't work. I was going to say it's a good way to get around if they have a lot of shields, right? Oh, hey, Buster. That sounds lovely. I need to get dinner soon as well. Uh, you didn't miss much. We're, we're, we're protecting. We're, ha we're almost more than halfway through protecting Hale here. She's doing some kind of ritual to close the portal. There's a lot of demons showing up, but so far we've been able to handle them pretty well. Okay, so then I almost want to restart that round, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, let's... 
skip movement here and just try this. No, it doesn't work because it's not a normal. So instead, we just hit it then. We need to kill it sooner or later anyway, right? Oh, we don't need to kill anything in here. We just need to make sure Hale survives, I guess. In theory. Uh, okay, Earth Demon up there. But he's a normal one. This one is going to keep bleeding. This is stunned, so he can't heal. This could be annoying, but he's a normal. And there's another Flame Demon Elite. Look at that. On the other side of the room. But we're not, we're not going to fight them. Like, oh no, Rat King is here. Rat King is going to smash this guy. And the Rat King is going to re get retaliated for three. Oh, poor little Rat King. But he already killed like two elites, so, you know, he's doing good. Could, what could we do otherwise? We could... Trample is not that interesting now since we don't have the stun hammer anymore, I guess. Still haven't gotten anyone into the trap. We need to do that. I mean, this guy is perfect. We put him into the trap, right? And there we can stun all the Jason. That could be helpful, actually. Yeah, I mean, we're in round 7 out of 10, so we could start burning some cards here, I think. Have a good... Do we need that heal? No, rather do that. And hmm. stun maybe. Maybe we need to stun that way. Mind thief keep smashing this maybe. Because when that guy gets out of stun, then he's gonna start healing, which is not okay. Now he wanted to attack though, but he's stunned. Earth Demon is gonna heal himself, that's fine, he's not damaged. Flame demons are going to move and attack. Okay, so they are actually going to do something this time around. There goes the rat. Plus two. Oh, look at the rat. Rat King is such a champ. Look at him. He took four retaliation damage. But, I mean, he did four damage to a guy with four shields. So he did nine damage. Oh, wow. He almost killed this thing. He only has one health left. <laughs> oh, so good. Uh, such a champ. Okay, so... Well, in that case, I almost... Want to kill it. But it's hard. I need to get... I need to get some plus or whatever in order to kill it, right? I'm gonna try. Because why not? So move up here. And we're gonna use the three on... Like this guy, because I don't want to do two attacks just in case... You know, for the retaliation. We'll do one here. Uh, and hope to get plus. Yeah, plus one is enough, right? Yeah, plus two, okay. Nice. So, uh, teamwork here. The rat and the mind thief. Taking out elite demons. Left and right. Okay, we don't need to stun him again. He will do an attack of five. To the brute, which I think is not a big deal. In a way. So instead, let's move up here. Well, the Mind Thief has 14 health, yeah, yeah, because he leveled up. And so I, I keep thinking he has 13. Okay, so Brute could go Juggernaut. Not take any damage for the next three attacks. Let's do that. That sounds like a good idea. Huh? Then he could force this guy to move over here. And he's going to have some health left, but we have old Rat King over there. He's going to take care of this guy afterwards. And then attack for five on the Sun Demon. Wow, this game is exhausting to play for this many hours uh, straight because there's so much to consider. It's like a heavy euro in a sense, right? Eight damage though. No, let's... Burn a card because that's going to take longer to heal back. 
than to skip eight damage and burn a card. So. So you keep bleeding and no damage here. So in two rounds is that thing is gonna die. No, he almost killed the Rat King. Wow. I didn't expect that strong of attack. But okay, Rat King is alive. Now we should heal him if possible. Um, that would be really good since his damage is based on on his health. Also because it's not okay to, to smash the, the Rat King. Uh, new Night Demon. New Wind Demon Elite. Um, kind of want to get rid of some of these so we don't have that many enemies because then we just have a lot of enemies doing a lot of attacks. Rather get rid of some of the small normal ones. Uh, we could do work. We could do a trample, I guess, but the retaliation is the problem. So I think leaping cleave is better on that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Huh. <sighs> so much happening here. I'm gonna have to do it. Okay, there goes the Rat King, sadly. There's nothing we can do about it. The Night Demon acted so quickly. Okay, so instead of healing the Rat King then, I guess we just heal. You know, it's just, it's just gonna heal himself there, Tinkerer. But Rat King was amazing there. Okay, so can he mobilize? The Earth Demon hasn't acted yet, so if we mobilize him, then he can't really do his attack. That's nice. <laughs> That's a cool sound as well. A little gadget. Okay. Mobilize and move away. I like that. Um, where do we go here, though? That guy will attack range. He's gonna disarm, which is so annoying. Uh, my think he needs to take revenge on this Frost Demon. For killing uh, the Rat King. I mean, the Rat King is going to be back in the next scenario, but you know what I mean. So, model plus two. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, retaliation sucks, of course, but. And plus one. Stun! Okay, yeah, we don't need that. It's dead. Or damage from the Tinkerer, okay. So Brute, what are you doing? I think this one here hasn't acted yet, yeah. So it's gonna target all adjacent enemies. That's pretty nasty. So if we pushed it, okay, let, let's hit it first. Oh, we got the extra target. Why did we get an extra target? I don't get it. Why does it show that? Plus. Oh, is it like it, it already tells us that the modifier is going to be a rolling target, I guess? And that's why we get another an extra target right away or something. Yeah, because we can't go back now. We can't skip it now. Okay, now we're locked in. So now we can hit both of them. Sure, that's perfect, right? Interesting. Never got that before. Oh yeah, there, there it was. So the game already knew, of course, this was going to come. Sadly, we missed there, though. We can push it down here. Uh, then we got the push thing as well. Push rolling modifier. And then we can move and push it again. So I'm thinking we just want it out of the way so that it can't go over here and be next to mul multiple. Well, it can go there, I guess, instead. I don't mind if they hit Hale once now because she has 12 health and she hasn't been touched. Yeah, it did go there. Okay. Six damage. Wow. Wow, it did a lot of damage. Okay, that wasn't okay. So cheese down. Okay. Wow, look at this. Now another Sun Demon Elite shows up. And another Frost Demon. And we need to survive this round and one more. And things just got a bit rough here.
Huh. Okay, well, we're gonna trample now, I think. I'm gonna redraw that. No, we're disarmed. Disarmed with the brute. That just sucks. <laughs> that just sucks that we're disarmed. Huh. Well, you can stun, maybe. Oh, and here we're disarmed as well. But here we can at least heal. Like, the brute can't do that much when he's done, when he's disarmed. Um, at least here we can give a shield. Yeah. So we can heal and give a shield aura to adjacent allies and self as well, I think. Uh, Mind Thief. Wow, this just got tricky here. In the end. But I mean, we just need to survive, really. Don't need to kill. I mean, we need a way. We, we need a way to heal her. I mean, she. He's okay. She's gonna heal there. We still have this, so we can kill a normal enemy. Let's do that. And we can stun something. That's good. Okay, so Mind Thief is still doing good here. Wind Demon Elite is going first though, it's gonna disarm again, which is... Uh... Ah, Tinker was already disarmed, so that didn't matter. Okay, so now what do we kill straight out here? These are Elite. That, I guess, Frost Demon 10, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good target to just... And then we get to ta attack all three of these. Sadly, we can't add stun powder, I think, because it's not a single target, right? Well, a lot of damage, at least. When did you stop bleeding, by the way? No, it, it is wounded. Okay, so Flay, this guy will die on his turn. Nice. Okay. Um, because it took one damage. It's stun. This wants to move, move an attack, move an attack. We'll just stun this, then. Still have the stun powder as well, so we have one more stun in there. For next turn. Next turn is the last, right? Yeah. Okay, so we have to heal her, obviously. And we have to give her the aura here, so she gets plus one armor. And... That died, nice. Okay... Mind Thief is in a bit of a problem here. Oh, they went invisible, right? I don't care. Um, so that's done, but that's gonna hit the Mind Thief as well. Is it invisible? No, it cursed itself. That's what it... No, it didn't. What did it do? Yeah, it cursed itself, because these guys put sun in the room, and that meant that the night demon cursed itself. <laughs> Perfect. Which means they cursed the whole deck again. We were talking about this before, but that's so good because, uh, because of that, right? And I just realized something. I'm sad that, like, we could just... Okay, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Because he is disarmed, so... Instead of attacking, he's gonna kill this way. He's gonna go... This is 15, yeah, yeah. So he's gonna go here. He's gonna stun both of those. And then kill an adjacent normal enemy, and that's not an attack, so it doesn't matter that he's disarmed. Nice, so Brute can do some stuff even when he's disarmed, right? Here comes this nasty thing, and it. Mm, okay, we have to burn, but scary. I need, really need to get some dinner, and so I'm like ugh, falling asleep here because I'm like low. Hail oh, that was the last round. What's that? Hair raising intensity. You look to her, afraid that more demons got past you and are attacking her. Yeah, yeah, we already did nine out of ten, so this was the tenth. Okay, I thought we had to survive a whole... Okay, I think we would have made that too, because we still had the stun powder, we still had some good stuff, so yeah. Alright. Instead, 
You see her pulling her hand back out of the rift. Her forearm is withered and smoking. As her gnarled fingers clear the chaotic energies of the rift, it wavers and begins to shrink. A great wind picks up in the chamber, and the demons fighting with you show fear for the first time. Instead of digging their claws into you, they grab at the stone floor, desperate to stop the pull of the rift. Their efforts are futile, however. Every last one is sucked back into their own plane. The tear shrinks to one brilliant point and disappears. Hail collapses and you run to her side. Oh, don't mind me, <laughs> she coughs. I'll be fine. This old body has seen far worse. She breaks into a fit of coughing that soon turns into laughter. <laughs> that really was something though, wasn't it? If there's one thing I can depend on you for, it's a challenge. Here, help me up. <coughs> I need to get back to Gloomhaven immediately. I have many new thoughts for my research. Now, feel free to come by any time and I'll figure out some way to properly thank you. Right, so we got that one. Kill Elite Monster, right? Yeah. So, so the Brute got one perk point. I should take breaks if I do these long streams and like have an you know something prepared so I can just eat something quickly because it's not it's not good for me to go this long without eating. So I'm gonna wrap up the stream, but I wanna like wrap up this first. What the? We just got a hundred gold each <laughs> for this quest line, I guess. I mean, it makes sense because this quest line was about unlocking the enchantment. So now we get a hundred gold each, so we can use enchantments. That's that's cool, I guess. That was impressive. One prosperity and ten XP. I like that for leveling up Gloomhaven as well. We're getting close there. Two wild three, which is good as well because when we retire a character and bring someone a new in, they get to start on the level that Gloomhaven is on. That's why the Tinkerer start on level two. But getting that up would be nice. Wow. Okay, we don't have that many quests now. So now it's like the sewers. And the side quest and help the dragon. That's like three things we did. This didn't unlock a new quest. This ended the quest line. So I guess we will have to do that sewer thing, right? To keep moving there. Nobody leveled up. We do have a lot of gold. But I think we, just out of pure necessity, I am going to end the stream and get some rest and get some food. I'll be back tomorrow though. And then we'll start the next stream with doing some cool stuff here. Like... Buying some items for the Tinkerer. I think items is more important than enhancements uh, or enchantments. So buying some items here and then maybe enchantments for these guys. Uh, we're going to donate to the temple and so on. We'll do the city encounter. We'll do all that tomorrow. Uh, but thank you so much for everyone who's been watching this uh, stream now. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to press the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And have a great evening or morning or whenever you're watching this. If you're watching this afterwards, you can tell me in the comment section if you have any questions or concerns or ideas and so on. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.